right and then i can go level and then and then like 18 quests later <laughs> 18 quests later huh that might be a slight exaggeration but not by much uh, okay well if i'm a little more focused and stuff i'll probably be uh, silent for about an hour to get this done yep. but i will i will catch up i swear also oh. my alarms are on and i don't want them to interrupt Seeing as I set alarms for an hour from I now. Set, yeah, I set mine too. I, I turned mine <laughs> off. We can't, we can't even get a full night's sleep, damn it. That was nope. eight hours I set. I was like, what is the button? <laughs> Which one? I didn't put it in the FC chat. I had a button on my bio and it says diamond oh. on it. And I'm like, eh? Oh, your diamond... <laughs> Diamond uh, strat one. Oh, for that trail. Yeah, so everyone's actually spread out. I forgot about that. All right. How long are you going to be on, Koa? Uh, probably four hours. Dang. I, ha I have a double date today. And then, yeah. Ooh. Okay. Waiting. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to spend time to nap. Wow. And I'm going to be silent for a while, but I'll, I'll, I'll just pretend I'm, uh, you know, AFK or something. Uh, hi. <laughs> All right. I have to catch up on this, so <laughs> I'm just muting everyone for a while. <clears throat> Alice and Alpha No tell me they have finished their pre preliminary search for survivors. But refrained from saying much more than that. Oh, my, my my volumes are off. Clearly, they are reluctant to provide details. My, might I ask you for your account? Oh, no. Can I go master volume 70? There we go. Thank you for your report. We shall inform the troops of these developments and instruct them to proceed with the utmost caution should they encounter any survivors. Allow me to go and speak with the ones at the Victor's Spoils. They may be more willing to listen to a fellow Garlean and accept our offer of assistance. I pray you are right. And though I am loath to burden you any further, should there be an appropriate occasion to speak of Lacinia and her sister, please do so. I'm sorry to have put you through this. My distress is nothing compared to their suffering. So tell me, what else have we learned? As you may have already heard, we have succeeded in curing the members of the Popularis, Maxima identified. They have provided us with some intriguing insights into the current state of Garlemald. Ooh. The assassination of Emperor Varus was the catalyst for the civil war. Nerva declared his claim to the throne, and his opponents refused to recognize it. Fighting broke out in the capital, where Nerva's third legion clashed with the first, who remained loyal to Varus even after his death. Of course, even Imperial warmongers would balk at the idea of turning their shining city into a battleground. Like burning down the wood to spite the wasps. Neither side would be so mad. Unless something or someone inflamed their animosity to such an extent that they could not help but act against their better judgment. It brings to mind events at the Gimlet Dark, does it not? The Emperor's sudden withdrawal from the front line, specifically. Nerva and his father, Titus, Varus's then political rival, took advantage of rumors that Crown Prince Zenos had been possessed by a demon. Elidibus, what better way to disparage your enemies than with the truth or a close enough approximation? 
Indeed. But before their accusations could be substantiated, many of Titus's followers were silenced. Uh, while some were merely stripped of their status, others died under curious circumstances, one after another, suddenly and suspiciously. Again, Elidibus. Like as not, he had a hand in it. No evidence was found to implicate Varus, certainly. Nevertheless, Titus, Nerva, and the Third Legion would have judged it a brazen attempt by the Emperor to rid himself of his political enemies. And then, in the midst of this growing turmoil, Varus Sosgalvis is murdered. And Garlemald's own prodigal son, Gaius van Belsar, is named the murderer. Shortly thereafter, Nerva claims the right of succession, and in response, the First Legion claims the assassination was part of a coup d'etat orchestrated by Titus and Nerva. So no one is at fault, and everyone else is to blame. I should add that both parties received substantial financial backing, presumably to provide them with the means and encouragement to pursue a swift victory, and that these contributions came from the self-same benefactor. I'd heard House Brutus had been filling the Third Legion's coffers, but the first as well. It would seem so. Though the Popularis determined that the First Legion received funds from a variety of organizations, all had connections to House Brutus. So Fandaniel, in the guise of Arsahi, was playing both sides against each other the entire time. The information we gained from my friends does not end there. One night, shortly after fighting broke out, the capital was shaken by an immense tremor. From that point onward, they have no memories, no recollection of any events, including our clash on the Magna Glacius. But when asked about the Imperial Palace and its bizarre transformation, they somehow recall Emperor Varus giving them orders in their dreams. Mm. May the Tower of Babel stand as testament to the glory of Garlemald. This sounds awfully familiar. <laughs> we have something to show you all. Varys spoke to them through this radio. Perhaps it was a recording, but if not, that would be inexplicable. We are of one mind, then. The ether that permeates the ore used in this device is almost identical to that of the talismans. I see it. While it is likely more by coincidence than design, these devices might also ward against a primal's influence. A picture is beginning to form. If the tremor felt throughout Garlemald was a wave of ether emitted by a primal, then while those within range would have been tempered, those huddled around a radio desperate for news concerning the Civil War would have been spared. Uh -oh. No wonder Licinia kept it close. <clears throat> My friends, I must speak with you! A young man was caught trying to steal our supplies. He is a soldier of the Iron Men, we think, but one who has not been made thrall. Thankfully, Magni restrained him before blood was spilled. The stranger is outside, if you wish to ask him questions. I think we do. Not the guy from earlier, is it? Oh, this is a different guy. Who do we have here? Garlians? 
traitors to your homeland! Have you no shame? I am Lucia Junius, a Temple Knight of Ishgard. And you are? Julius Pier Norbanus. And that's all you invaders will get from me. <laughs> we are not here to invade Garlemald. Far from it. Like you, our allies in Eorzea and the Far East fight in defense of their lives and their loved ones even as we speak. But it is the people of Garlemald who have suffered most. This we know. And that is why we have come to offer you our aid, that we may unite against our common foe. Whether you believe me or not, those are the facts. Now, answer me this. Why would a proud soldier of the Empire be reduced to stealing? The situation must be dire indeed for you to go to such lengths. <clears throat> if it is supplies you seek, we would gladly share ours, or turn a blind eye while you leave with your spoils. I will not negotiate. My commander will determine how to deal with you and yours. If you wish to treat with him, I will take you, but no more than three. I don't much like the sound of that. But if we do accept his proposal, I suggest the two of us and... Please allow me and Alizé to act as envoys. May I ask why? We have seen with our own eyes the hardships the Garleans face. How their futures and lives hang in the balance. It's not the warmest invitation, but it's an opportunity to prove our intentions true. Maybe not a chance to make things right, but a chance to make them better. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm going with you. I can see that persuading you otherwise is a lost cause, but you will proceed with the utmost care. <clears throat> a couple of children and what? A cell <laughs> sword? Is this an insult? Oh, but that was. Not in the least. You will find that they are more than qualified to speak on our behalf. There are many dangers on the road ahead. I will need that back. Wow. <clears throat> I don't know about this guy. Hopefully he comes around, because... Yeah. You'll be received as invited guests, and so I urge you to observe proper eti social etiquette and conduct yourselves accordingly. Your safe return takes precedence. Above all else, remember this. Thancred in particular will be worried sick if you're gone too long. May the Fury watch over you and keep you. Are you and the children ready? I'll explain the route once we are outside of your camp. If anyone attempts to follow us, we will judge it as an act of hostility. We will not hesitate to take appropriate measures. I would expect nothing less. You have our full cooperation. Wow. Waiting until we're outside. This guy's very careful. I keep forgetting I can sprint. <laughs> Alright, this is far enough. Listen carefully. We head over that hill, and then follow the road until we reach 
Liminal Station 4. Children in the lead, I want you where I can see you. We do have names, you know. I'm Alice, and he's Elfino. And last but not least, there's Rin. Rin, where have I heard that name before? No matter, Alphino and Alice will watch the road ahead while we bring up the rear. I wasn't lying about there being many dangers, so you're to run, not saunter, run, towards the station. Even think about going for your weapon, the deal's off. Should any creatures bar the way, we go around them. Once you depart, he'll accompany you. Alright, follow Elfino. Okay, they'll start moving. Don't fall behind. Great. <laughs> so I have to accompany him while following them. Sure, sure. Ready to make a dash for the station? Yeah, after I get a drink. Oh. Ready. Oh, it was just it was just that. Let's see how Niz is doing. Niz you oh you're in a cutscene, aren't ya? Mm-hmm. I see. Cole, where are you at? Limsa. It's the first story? Like, first time? Or what? what you... uh, just a Luxage, and then it ran, ran to a, a corner to figure out skills. Oh, oh, and you've been there the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> I see. I've only been on for like an hour, I think. Right. Okay. I'm kind of surprised they fixed the... Well, I'm assuming me and Niz both got in right away. Did you get in right away? Yeah, I only had a 19Q, and then uh, when I relogged, it was like 28. Okay. Yeah, see, we, we were having like three, 4,000 constantly yesterday. I mean, I know it's 4 a.m., but still. I feel like Shadowbringers was even really clogged at night. Yeah, I guess well, it was day one, too, so maybe it's just a little better now. Mm. Oh. Okay. Looks like I got story again. <laughs> See you in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> It's nothing like the ones in Thanalin. Oh, I guess they wouldn't have any big dialogue there. We're here, I think. Yeah, no. Nope. This is it. The first stop, that is. Good. It looks like your friends know, knew better than to follow us. Are these your headquarters? No. No, we're stopping here so I can check for pursuers. Since it appears you've kept your side of the bargain, we can carry on. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's all he needed from me, huh? I mean, I understand you're paranoid, but... My god. North of the station is Reggio... Domorum, Domorum? In one of the main residential areas, or at least it was. The afflicted roam the streets in packs. They'll tear us up to shreds if given the chance. Keep close, no wandering off. The station? Huh. <clears throat> From here, we'll be heading northeast. Keep keeping to the left of the railway. Well, the route itself is straightforward. Getting past the hordes unseen is anything but. Keep your weapons at the ready. <sighs> they would attack their own countrymen. Aye, they spare their own, but slaughter the rest without hesitation. They will try to avoid detection. The chances of sneaking by completely unnoticed are slim at best. I'll lead the way, but in the event we are seen, you're to fight them off. Those two will follow us, provided they can refrain from drawing their weapons. While I doubt they would be foolish enough to stab their guide in the back, I will not take that chance. With that said, let us proceed. This game is... 
or this expansion's getting a, a little too thorough with some things. Uh, particularly the, the the fact that they like overly explain what they're about to do in in most situations so far. Like like when we came to Garlemald, the instance they went into great detail about how they were gonna do it. And even here. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's not a problem. It just, uh, very, very detailed how they do it. Guys, not attacking. some helping. Aw, oh, stunned. <laughs> I see why your comrades chose you. Julius, our contingent has a cure for the afflicted, or tempered as we call them. Your people would be need to be taken into custody bef that we may administer the treatment, but they would eventually regain their sanity. Is that so? For all I know, your treatment would simply force them to forsake one master for another. As far as I and my legion are concerned, they are no longer our people. They're beyond saving. Those who thought differently and tried to reason with them were butchered for bleeding their hearts. Come, we have to keep moving. Okay. Oh, I should be using my ether compass. Aw, oh, 170 west. Aha. Another one nearby? North 250. Okay. The story will probably take us somewhere over there. Looks like we're not being followed. We will continue onward. Yes, we will. I meant what I said. These people deserve only death. I stayed my hand before, only out of the desire to remain undiscovered. And that is still the higher priority. We should continue to avoid any unnecessary confrontations. Keep following the railway. You guys gotta be a little upset about the way he did that. I mean, we, we have ways to subdue them. Unless, unless those were... What did he say? I mean, it, I don't know if he did that. Or they were already dead, but... Oh, Ether Compass. West. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll, we'll get there eventually. Oh my god, where is this? Don't tell me it's up top. Thunderground. Is there a hidden cave here? It's definitely underground.
Wait, what? Imperial? What? What happened to your face? Oh. Alright, maybe I can look at him closer here. Huh. Oof. Looks like they've become... Look what they've become. Would you still stand there and claim that they can be cured? Those exposed to vast quantities of the primal's ether may suffer severe corruption. Even with treatment, such victims are beyond salvation. Then you admit it. Now that you have seen these monstrosities for yourself, perhaps you will think twice before speaking of a cure. Wait. Hi. Okay. Northwest. Yeah, somehow this is underground, but I, I don't know how we're going to get there. Oh, maybe this is like a subway. There we go. We're almost there. You've kept your side of the agreement, so I will keep mine this way. This is t Teridium, oh, one of the Garl Garlemald's largest stations. It now serves as our headquarters. Oops. <laughs> I've already sent the twins ahead. I will be with you soon, so wait for me at the bottom. This wasn't kidding. This is this is a long walk for M MSQ. Plain to see why they chose this as their base of operations. They could have done a lot worse. Imagine, er, even so, I imagine it's not as the easiest place to live. Indeed, if and if Judas was making the er, willing to make the perilous journey to Camp Broken Glass in search for food, their own supplies must all be exhausted. They may be shielded from the wind and snow, but it's still bitterly cold, much like Victor's spoils. It must be a constant struggle to keep their people warm. Lower your voices. While you may be here as my guests, the others will not take kindly to your presence. My commander is in the locomotive over there. out. Please, please tell me I can attune to this right away. I'm sure I can. <laughs> it's not responding? Okay. I don't know why. I just felt like it wasn't going to work because it's their base. Do we have to win their trust? <sighs> Probably. Voiced. These are their chosen representatives. Very well. Let us hear what they have to say. Yes, sir. I present to you our commander. 
Lord Quintus Van Kina, Legatus of the First Legion. The First? I had no idea you had survived. That's a beard. We lost our Emperor, our city, more than half our troops. For my wounds, I may never take the field again. But we survived, I. In a manner much to your liking, I dare say. We have no intention of adding to your misfortunes, nor do we bear you any ill will. Spare me. Though you children may speak in earnest, overtures of peace ever ring hollow in my ears. So long as man stands to profit from his neighbor's suffering, war is inevitable. Driven from our ancestral homeland into this blasted waste, yet still you yearned to rob us of our paltry scraps. It was only with Magitech that you learned to keep your distance. Though we knew it was only a matter of time before you regrouped and returned. Uh. Conquest and Empire were our only defenses. Emperors Solus and Varys understood this, and through their campaigns saw us grow and prosper. Much blood has been spilled in Garlemald's name, aye. But if it is a choice between yours and mine, then it is hardly a choice at all. I do not deny that a great many conflicts throughout history were driven by the desire or necessity to gain by another's loss. That is not why we are here. Nor have we come to petition your aid in the war with the Telophoroi, grave though that threat may be. Our purpose is simply this. We wish to help you. Let us help you. If there is aught that can be done to ease your plight, we would be glad to do it. Perhaps you would. But regardless of the ideals you espouse, your leaders would not send an army into Garlemald if they did not stand to benefit. If we accept their aid, they will expect their efforts to be rewarded once the Telophoroi are no longer a threat. And after compensation and concessions, the great empire would be brought to heel. Her enemies rejoice at her downfall. Our third eye, a mark of shame. We won't stand idly by and let your people be humiliated. And we're not alone in that. We only want to make a difference, to make this world of ours better. Surely you can understand that. What I'm trying to say is, there are so, so many people who just don't care about making you suffer. And maybe that's almost insulting after all the suffering you feel the world has subjected your people to, but... Believe it or not, that's the truth. And now we're here, and all we're asking is for you to tell us what you want, what you hope for. So much blood has been shed, so much lost, all because of this endless war. Who wouldn't want to end it? Sadu. Can we not work together to face our problems as one? Answer me this, young peacemakers. If a world without conflict is your desire, why reject the unity and prosperity of Garlemald? Is it because we do not share your faith? That we do not share your heritage? That our ideals and virtues differ? that we cherish and hold in the highest that which you do not. Disparity 
is the root of discord, and peace built on compromise is flawed and fleeting. Happiness for one and all is a dream, and the reality is that to the victor go the spoils. Hmm. That is why we Garlians will never submit nor surrender. For freedom and for pride, we will remain true to ourselves until the bitter end. That is my hope. It seems there is nothing more to say on the matter. You will remain here while I decide what is to be done with you. Do not be alarmed. No harm will come to you if you cooperate. <laughs> We will not resist. However, as your guests, I ask that we be allowed to speak with the other members of your group. As you wish. I had no intention of locking you up, as by dawn you would be frozen stiff and you're no good to me dead. You are free to move about the encampment, but there is one condition. Collar them. Collar? Oh god, do I die if I leave? What are these? Incentive. You'll be watched at all times. Stray too far or act suspiciously, and we will administer a rather painful shock. Well, those are just. They gotta Stop. be peaceful. Keep away from that one. <laughs> the champion of Eorzea is not so easily cowed. Wait. Even if she allowed herself to be collared, the shock would be no more than an itch. No. If she refuses to obey, we will activate the twins' restraints instead. Oh, god damn it. You needn't worry about us. We'll forget we're even wearing them soon enough. That's a problem. <laughs> even now, you still... Why go to such lengths? What is it all for? Because mm. even the most bitter adversary may have may one day see reason. On the coldest, blackest of nights, meager though it may be, we share the warmth of our fire. I like that, but that's what that one person said. I feel like I feel like that's gonna relate to him more because it's it's something. Oh, that was harsh fun. That was that was not. God damn it! I honestly thought it was the the guy in the last. Uh, you the are last a video. curious one. A far cry from the merciless barbarian others paint you to be. I don't remember that line. You will be their warden. Take them away. Yes, sir. Okay, I kind of remember that line. I think that was when you were fleeing in 2.55, before Heaven's War came out, which is the last time I saw it. Literally, when 2.55 was out. I That was a long time ago. Niz. There it is. What is up with these guys? They're kind of dumb. Why would, why would they do this, Niz? What would They're they, kind of dumb, darkness. 
It sure feels like it, huh? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Also, why would they do this? I mean, it's clear. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, we'll, we'll uh, how much do I need to do? That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I, I, I don't. <laughs> I don't you'll, have to. You'll, you'll know when you're caught up. Oh, you'll be... Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm mostly uh, just, just kind of staying muted and trying to push through it quick or not quickly but you know yeah efficiently so. yeah efficiently this yeah, is definitely just wish getting... you didn't have legs i don't know what to do with my legs right now it's kind of making me mad i always have to sit on one leg no matter what i just have to maybe i'll try that that's a little bit uh, better and then when it goes numb switch to the other leg and <laughs> just keep repeating all right back to story all right After I get something to drink. <laughs> okay. Curse of waking up and immediately playing. It's so dehydrated. As per Lord Quintus's uh, instructions, I am to supervise you during your time here in Terdium. Ter yeah. Before you ask, no, I do not have a key or any other means to remove your collars, nor would I tell you if I did. And if you try anything, you'll soon wish you hadn't. So, do you truly intend to speak with the others, or was that or merely a ruse? We're in no hurry to disobey Lord Quintus, if that's what you mean. Or perhaps you doubt the wisdom of his decision. Do as you will, but remember, I, I'll be watching. If I catch wind of you doing anything untoward, trying to trick, the pe trick our people into turning their coats and the like... Those shot collars will be the least of your worries, understood? Though we're somewhat comprised, comp <laughs> compromised. Why did I say compri- Brain, wake up. To put it lightly, let's not waste this opportunity. I suggest splitting up and learning what we can of their situation. And above all else, don't use magics of any sort. Yeah, yeah they don't. they don't like that. You, on the other hand, may go wherever so you, wheresoever you ch wish. Even outside the camp, I know full well I couldn't stop you if I tried. But do not forget, if you do anything to endanger us or our interests, Alvino and Alice will pay the price. Uh. Okay. It's you, Rin. Octavia. I served under Lord Gaius in the 14th Legion. I was there in the night the Praetorium fell. Really? You and your adventurers, you killed them, my comrades, my friends. Swept them aside in their dozens, as though they were nothing to you. Uh-huh. And maybe I am too, just another faceless enemy to be cut down. But it won't be long until our countrymen return. Until you get what you deserve, mark my words. That was... that was war. Was, there was a whole war thing, ma'am. Uh, this this is not the not war. Seb, Sabinianus, Sabinin, Sab, Sabinius, Binianus. That's the name. So cold. Oh, he's losing consciousness. I know who you are. The so-called champion of Eorzea. Come to gloat, have you? I'll wipe that smirk off your face. By the blood of our fallen compatriots, I swear I'll... Ugh. Damn. Tore the... Sutures. Of all the times, the worst of the lot within striking distance, and I can't even muster the strength. If it weren't for that... For the third little... 
the third bleeding us, we'd be the end of you. Virgilia's treachery nearly cost Lord Quintus his life, but we made our escape, took shelter in a mansion, tended to the wounded as we prepared to strike back, and then... Night fell, and we gathered around the radio. Then the roar, the terrible roar. The capital was in chaos, but we were spared. If you can call this a mercy, mind intact but body broken. A soldier in name alone. I'd cut you down where I stand where you stand if I could, murderer. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. It's the same model as the one used in Victor Spoils. Perhaps it is what saved the soldiers from being tempered. Playing triple triad? What level are you? 85. Well, clearly things are going to change around here. <laughs> so where are roll quests? We haven't unlocked a single roll quest. You came with Julius, didn't you? Well, whatever business you brought here, you'd best keep your hands off that aetherite. It's deactivated, but I'd rather you didn't mess about it. There are others throughout the city, built by Garleans for Garleans. Could teleport all over in the blink of an eye, provided there was a terminal nearby. These days, however, we use the Aetherite's power to keep this place lit. Oh, though that comes at the cost of its normal function. I see, I see, yeah. Oh, different, different train. Did you learn anything of note? Then your findings are consistent with my own. Their plight is dis desperate indeed. The sick are inju and injured are at great risk. Without warmth and proper nutrition, I fear they will soon perish. I realize there is precious little we can do for them at present, but I cannot bear to see them suffer. Please, will you help me tend to them? Hmm. Assist Flavius. Flavius? Who's there? My eyes, they... I can't see all that well. Me too, right now. Ah, thank you. The numbness has subsided a little. But I know I won't last much longer. You should look to the others who can still fight. Give them my ration. If me going hungry means someone else lives... To see another day, so be it. At least I can still serve in that way. Uh huh. This is a very gloomy place. What's Alice doing? Oh, helping more. To so those you met, fare no better. I was afraid you would say that. I knew we were warned against meddling in their affairs, but we can't leave them like this. Perhaps we g might gain permission to the have the contingent. Deliver supplies. Quintus may have had his made his feelings on the matter quite clear, but even he must recognize they are not in a position to refuse help. Maybe Julius could be pers persuade him. <laughs> Though we need to persuade Julius first. Maybe. I highly doubt it'll be easy. Well, seen enough. Julius, the people here have barely enough food and fuel to survive. Have you and the other soldiers been able to procure any more supplies? We've been scavenging, scavenging provisions from the nearby houses. As most families keep, kept rather, some story stored away in the event they were snowed in. Still, going out and getting it is dangerous work, and we have a lot of mouse to feed. Fuel is a greater concern, though. We had some cerulean set aside until it was stolen. We haven't identified the culprit. Could have been other refugees, or one of the afflicted for all we know. Either way, we're down to the last dregs. Without the heating they need, those in poor health are only going to get worse instead of better. If it's Ceruleum you need, our contingent has secured a ready supply. We can have some sent over. <sighs> we will not accept your charity. 
If we can hold on a little longer, the situation is sure to change. I, everything will change. One of your comrades mentioned something like that. Uh, those country, mysterious countrymen of yours, I assume. One of them mentioned it. I heard something of it, have you? Well, from what I've seen, there's little you could do to interfere, so there's no harm in telling you. One of our scouts spotted a hooded man issuing instructions to the afflicted, or, in the bastard's words, loyal servants of the Tulafari. Then he made his way inside the Imperial, Imperial Palace, or what stands in its place. We identified the seat of the enemy's power, we realized. We'd identified the seat of the enemy's power, we realized. Lord Quintus dispatched a messenger to the Tenth Legion, saying as much, and instructing them to join forces with the Provincial Legions to prepare for a combined assault on the Telophoroi. Once our allies arrive, your contingent will be sent running for the hills. Then we shall reclaim the capital by our own hand. And how do you intend to survive in the meantime? At this rate, many of your countrymen will perish long before reinforcements reach Garland. Garlemald. They need help now. And say the word and we'll bring you Ceruleum. Oh. I will speak with Lord Quintus. Wow. Did it work? So, did he agree to it? No. No, he will not place Garlemald in the debt of her enemies. I have, however, been ordered to search for Ceruleum outside. As you are under my watch, you'll come with me. Uh... Very well. After all, many hands make light work. Just us. You lot are more trouble than you're worth. Once we're outside, you will follow my instructions to the letter. We will we depart shortly. <sighs> Fine. Eighty-four. Wait. Melee mastery too. Oh, base potency. I don't understand that one. Wait, royal at atonement four twenty. Yeah, this isn't. I don't know why the the uh, they're upgrading my combo potency. Like reaching level eighty four is gonna make me use Goring Blade in the, just on its own, <laughs> or something. Uh, they upgraded the combo potency of Royal Authority, but the rest's what? It's fine. And Holy Spirit heals now. That's that's interesting, interesting and weird. Hmm. You'll begin our search for Ceruleum in Regio Ur Urbanissima? The first location uh, is Forum Sol Solius, a park to the northwest of the station. You are to remain close at all times and act only as ordered. Follow me. Yes, sir. How far is it? Okay. Oh, we haven't slept long enough. What's going on? Uh, I was yelling at Koa because he didn't hit us up for leveling roulette, but... Oh, he he did love. Wait, we already did leveling. We already nice. did leveling roulette, yeah. yeah. Doesn't reset for five hours. I know. So Koa's yelling at you now. No, I'm getting yelled at. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh... I see. Melniz, I don't know if I'm breaking through to these people. Just are you, um are you even in Garlemald? No. Oh you're you're mining. Oh god, you found the dungeon. I'm leveling. I have not found a dungeon. <laughs> I'm sad to say what? that I have not gone to the dungeon yet, but you're eighty four and don't have a dungeon? Or you probably done some of the dungeons. Koa, you don't understand. You don't understand. 
Koa, you, you don't understand. The amount <laughs> of story that we've done. And each quest, despite not... Be, they, they, there's like cutscene. There's like three or four cutscenes per quest. It's it's a long game. Uh, yeah, that's why me and Niz were a little uh, cranky by the end of the night. Is we really uh -huh. wanted to punch things and slap it with a shield. And yeah. it just never came up. Like we have just one dungeon so far. Don't let yourself get antsy, Koa, because there is, it's it's a, it's a long distance race. You know, it's not a sprint. Uh, it certainly is. But I kind of feel like we should just kind of do some stuff between these. Yeah, something. You to know, in our sanity, like literally leveling, <laughs> like, like maybe leveling an alternate job while we do story. <laughs> yeah. It sure feels like we might have to. All right. Speaking of that, Koa, I have more cutscenes now. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, so this is the park. I'm surprised they found space for one among all these buildings. Actually, the recreational areas came first. The houses were later built around them. A healthy society requires communal spaces for children to play and adults to socialize. Ah. This park was named after the founding father of the Empire, the Great Solus Zas Galvis. Did we come to extract Ceruleum from the wrecked Magitek armor? No, we've already drained it dry. Same goes for the rest of the Machina in the vicinity. But as our Ceruleum has been stolen, we must scour the city for every last drop. And while we don't expect to find anything here, I've decided to try one more time, in case something has been overlooked. I see. Then with your permission, we will commence the search. Okay, I don't know why you won't just take our health, damn it. I mean, I know why. But this is bad. You're returning to a place that you couldn't find any in hopes that you find a sliver again, basically. <sighs> Nothing inside. Okay, well, the map's not going to have anything, but I'd like to read it. Several points of interest on it. The pond, the children's playing area, to your knowledge. However, none require the use of ceruleum. Uh, interesting. Oh. Oh, it's flipped on the side. Huh. Ooh, how many is this? Um. Oh my god, there's still three areas we haven't even seen yet. Well, one of them, one of them's totally the moon. Obviously. I don't remember what the other two would be. Or if they were even shown. I don't know. They must have been. I, I'm just forgetting. That's good. That's good. Forgetting things lets you enjoy it. <laughs> More. Mm. Damn. Oh, I think we're literally just searching to... to realize that there's nothing... There's nothing here. But before that, look up. The contraption is built in the style of an Imperial War Machina. Oh. Mm. That's quite the children's slide.
Oh, it's you. Any luck? There's no sign of any ceruleum. Hmm, hardly surprising, but disappointing nonetheless. I couldn't help but n noticing you gazing at the pond. Is something the matter? What? Yes, I mean, no, I'm... It's just, I used to bring my brother and sister here to play. The pond was heated to stop it from freezing over. So like all the other children, they just had to wade in and splash about. Would have stayed there if... Would have stayed there if I didn't drag them out. You'd be sopping wet when all was said and done, every time. It was the worst, though, when you're going to the water and then it's freezing out and you get out of... I, I hate it. Like a hot tub outside in the winter. Oh. And every time we'd get home, Mother would scold us, saying we'd catch our death walking around like that. Also, it's raining right now. Oh, that's... This would not... This would be freezing. The pond was heated. Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. With a cerulean-powered heater by chance. I suppose it must have been. Come to think of it, I remember seeing engineers changing out the, a tank beneath a hatch. But that was a long time ago, when the water still flowed clear and wasn't this brackish mud. You can't see a thing, and I can't remember where the hatch might be. With the machinery most likely broken, the amount of filth in there is probably the only reason it hasn't frozen over. I'd wager it's still unbearably cold, though. Is she just gonna jump in? Julius, what are your thoughts on magic? The average Garlean would jump out of their skin if they saw it, but the first has a few foreign sig signifery, signifery and medici, so it doesn't scare me. Then I take it you won't mind if I employ a little now. Elphino, as you have a knack for finding dry wood, why don't you bring me some? Once that's done, a blast of verifier should do the trick. Leave it to me. No. You're not planning to go in there, are you? Of course I am. That tank isn't going to fetch itself. It's nothing so involved as extracting unprocessed ceruleum from a frozen lake, like how the tappers do it. We're talking about a shallow pond in the park, and we have a way of warming ourselves up after. But that's insane. So, fancy a dip. <laughs> it's... yeah. A little friendly competition might make it interesting. Last thing we need is you catching a cold. Step aside while I drink the pond dry. <laughs> that way we'll find it in no time. Why would you volunteer for that? A little competition might make it interesting. This would be the grossest pond to drink. Last one to find the cerulean tank is a rotten egg, though I dare say we'll both smell like rotten eggs when this is over. No. Oh. You can't even... Oh, it's not even deep. I figured it would have, like, dug down and been a little deeper by now. Oh, chilled to the bone. I mean, I think it's over here. It's it's totally going to be over here, but... Yep, icy wind dampens. Okay. Yep. Yeah, this one's taking longer, too. Beneath your water, you catch, your fingers catch on what you think might be a handle. I don't know, it looks like it came up empty-handed. You open the hatch and receive a cerulean tank. <laughs> However, your grand discovery comes at the great personal cost, as you become acutely aware of the freezing cold and the a rancid odor em emanating from every ilm of your body. Julius will doubtless feel compelled to pinch his nose shut when you deliver him your prize. Yeah, probably. 
Let's not make that any worse. <laughs> did you find anything else? Uh, I hope you did. That's it. And there's still some cerulean left. Ah, the fire's still not ready. Hold on. I'll give Elfino a hand. Oh, you'll actually give him a hand. Okay, he's coming around fast. Not voiced. Call me an Alden, because this fire, by this fire, because by this fire I am reborn, and my clothes are mostly dry now, too. They don't smell good. I appreciate you recovering the ceruleum, but I wish you'd take the time to discuss the plan with me first. Beforehand, despite the way you've been treated in Lord Quintus's eyes, you're still in... You're still envoys, deserving of pr protection. If you were to die on my watch, he would be most displeased. Your concern is duly noted, but all's well that ends well. Julius. You mentioned coming here with your younger siblings. Did you grow up in Garlemald? I did, not far from here. My father was an accomplished researcher in his youth, and for his contributions to the Empire, awarded an estate. Huh. We lived well, better than many. What was Garlemald like in those days? Everything? It was everything you could imagine, and so much more. Even during the coldest winters, we always found warmth at, and comfort at home. Coming in from the snow, taking off your coat, and sitting down for a hot meal with family. Visiting friends and relatives, receiving that same welcome, knowing they had everything else they need. Walking down the street, seeing the lights in all the houses, Hearing the faint sounds of laughter and song, of happiness. And although the summers came and went all too quickly, in that brief respite, the ice would melt and the forgotten grass make its triumphant return. Great clouds gave way to blue skies. Some mornings we'd climb to the top of the tallest building we could find to watch the sun rise. Never again, those rooftops are rubble, those friends dead, and those memories. But if I could reclaim even a fraction of what we once had, soon our chance will come. We just need to hold on a little longer. Hmm. He certainly opened up. What the? Oh, oh. What's December 4th? Uh, from 3.30 to 3.40. Emergency maintenance on... Oh, the firmament and Domen Enclaves. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was overall. What the? The hell? Ko, what are you doing? <laughs> what? Just see pop up after pop up. Abusing my power. Wasn't Niz already substitute teach? <laughs> you could have sworn he was. And King, you're, you were King Ambrosia, right? I was crown parent and I got booted to fertilizer. Oh. Yes, you <laughs> did. I have to wait for Beatrix to get back on. Look at leader Beatrix by default. <laughs> yeah. The scary thing is, for some reason, when he didn't get on last, it went to Akikom. Oh, my Akikom's not a Akikom. fertilizer. Okay. Oh. So I probably won't go to him at least now. Yeah. Why does it, it just go? It should go to. You should be able to assign who it goes to next. I think because they also didn't log on as long. Yeah. Just as long, so it's like, well, I'm gonna send it to the guy who hasn't logged in in three years. <laughs> right. I guess this is a newer character too, so it wouldn't be me. It should be Niz next, most likely. He's the one who's always on. 
Although he left the FC and rejoined multiple times. So that might change your, like, time in FC. You might rank a little lower when that comes well, to that. I, my alt left the SC, not my main. My main's been in the FC. Oh, the whole time? Yeah, ever since I transferred to Adam Antoys back in Storm. Oh. What is this? You put heat a battle on? Heat for me? <laughs> you don't have battle manuals? You don't have battle manuals? No, I'm not, I haven't done... I lost those a long time ago. Otherwise, I haven't touched my squadron. Where the hell are mine? Oh, I put mine away. This is why I didn't use them, Niz. They were in my saddlebag. <laughs> uh, I should yep. probably hit that up again so we can have the reduced beast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it's it's fine if you don't want. I'm just teasing you. Bam. Not you know, you don't play like every single day and then, or every single week, and then go do make sure you do that every single time. Yeah, those days are long gone. <laughs> long gone. My playtime will just like stand still now. Playtime. <laughs> yep. Speaking of that, what's this character at since it's newish? 45 days. Okay, that's a long time, isn't it? It is quite long for a newish. 45 times 24. Wait, that's on that doesn't make any sense. Oh, I still haven't even broken 300, man. That's rookie numbers. I gotta be getting that play time up. I have to have more than a, th a thousand hours. What? I don't know. All right, I took my my short my short break to uh, relax and and talk. <laughs> yeah. Niz, Niz, I'm on I'm on no good deed. I don't know how far behind. You should check your journal quick, just so I can not um, tell. Have you used? I bombs? I smell, I smell. You smell? Okay, you've got See. like. Uh, uh, I mean, you got a lot of cutscenes. Really, the only thing you have to you have to you have to go do a thing, and then you're gonna go watch a bunch of cutscenes and talk to some NPCs, watch some more cutscenes, and okay. then you're gonna walk someplace and then watch some more cutscenes, and then you'll be caught up. Really, really, that's mm -hmm. a lot of cutscenes. Yeah. So, why did you stop? So that you could get caught up. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, you don't have to. Well, I mean, I want to. Plus, it helps me break it up that I'm not just doing story. Now I'm leveling my crafters. I guess it is one of the things you said you have to do before you go back to work. You're in his rap on. <laughs> I, I am. This is going through Darkness Savage. <laughs> Wait, waiting, waiting in queue for darkness. <coughs> That's a good one. Hey, I, I feel I, I'm doing decently and well, except for these little breaks I'm taking. I need it. I'm, I just woke up. I, it's, it's hard to uh, focus until you're totally awake. They should really. All right. I'm gonna disappear. Hi. This is easier to manage now. As you can see, this place is littered with the remnants of various types of war machina. While my comrades and I have already recovered the tanks from the less damaged units, those that took a more severe beating are harder to scavenge. We decided to save those for another time, that time being now. Rather than prize them apart, piece by piece. It would be quicker to remove the outer casing using compact explosives. With luck, we'll gain access to the tanks without rupturing them. Though the force generated by these devices is relatively weak, I would advise you to stand clear to avoid being hit by any shrapnel. Before even bothering, though, you should check the Machina's ceruleum gauge to see if there's any left. It should still provide an accurate reading, even when the unit itself is inactive. The gauge is broken. I'll let you decide whether to use an explosive or not. Should you need more, 
come to me. Okay. What is this? I don't like it. I don't like that. Okay, so use incendiary to destroy on destroyed Magitech armor. The gauge the fuel takes empty, so it's a waste of time. The gauge is broken, giving you no way to determine how much. Sure, I'll take the risk. He's got more anyways. You find it to be completely empty. Of course. Um. Oh, more Colossuses. Colossi. Field gauge is empty. Yeah, this one's broken, so there's there's a chance. This is like the only one. You retrieve it. It's still half full. Or half empty, depending on one's perspective. Either way, Julius will surely be pleased by your discovery. I'd like to say half full. Uh, unless it's a bad day, then it's half empty sometimes. More explosives. Wait, is that what I think it is? You've done it again. Truly, luck is on your side. With this, we should be able to refuel quite a few of our heaters. It's time we headed back. Wait here while I go and see how Alice and Alphano are faring. I'm like so worried that something's al and always that something's gonna happen to them. Finally escape the watchful gaze of your keepers, have we? Don't react. You'll only draw attention to yourself. Just carry on as you are and listen. Mm -hmm. After you left with the Garlean lad, Lucia bade a few of our scouts follow you at a discreet distance. We observed you being led into the station, but decided against venturing inside. When you emerged some time later, and we saw that the twins were sporting Magitek collars, it was clear what had taken place. Now, as quietly as you can, tell me everything. Hmm. Don't we have Link Pearls? Gatus himself, <laughs> eh? Now there's a surprise. This is also the first I've heard of a plan to join forces with the Tenth and storm the Tower of Babel. An interesting development, and perhaps the opportunity we've been waiting for. Our comrades back at the camp also received some rather promising news, but it's still too early to get our hopes up. For now, keeping yourselves out of harm's way comes before all else. Whatever demands the Garleans make, indulge them. With luck, this will all be over soon. Until then. Hey. They had not gone far. We searched high and low, but no luck, I'm afraid. I might have guessed you'd be the only one to find anything. I wasn't expecting much to begin with. Eventually, there will be nothing left out here for us to safely salvage. For now, this will have to suffice. We should return to the station. Sure. Oh, you're just taking me back. Ah, oh, there you are. 
Heard you'd gone hunting for ceruleum above ground. Brought back a king's ransom? Hardly. But thanks to these three, we have enough to last a little while longer. Well, well. It's not at all as I was expecting, these ones. But for savages, they seem positively docile. I'll say he's a savage, though. Uh, it's a poor attempt at humor. In all honesty, I'm grateful for your efforts. But even with another night of warmth, there are those among us who may not live to see the morrow. I trust your expedition was fruitful. Lord Quintus! Use what you've procured to refuel the armor. But, sir, what about the heaters for the camp? The time for action is upon us. Oh, this guy. My men and I have matters to discuss. In the meantime, you are to wait here. Do not forget, you are being watched. Well. The time for action. What did he mean by that? I can only speculate. Clearly something requiring their Magitech, given what we just heard. Whether they plan to utilize it now, or after they join with the Tenth, is another question. escape this cult? Return to and reclaim the idyllic spaces of which Eula spoke? Not with that guy running around, they won't live. Finished your war, Council? Oh. Alphino and Alizea are to stay here. As our prisoners. They will be released once your comrades have relinquished their supplies and withdrawn from Garlean soil. Oh my god. Until our terms are met, they will be detained at a separate location. But. After everything we've said and done, this is how you treat us. Our allies have but limited supplies. They may stave off cold and starvation for a short while, but what then? They don't even care about their allies. Hmm. At least he doesn't want to do it. He came around. For now, keeping yourselves out of harm's way comes before all else. Whatever demands the Garleans make, indulge them. Everything will be all right. Have faith. Get them out of here. Oh boy. I mean, how bad can the shock be? 
Also, they could totally maybe remove though. I don't know how they're attached. Uh, actually, yeah. Alpha No and Ali say will be fine, providing they do not resist. You will accompany me back to your camp, where I will meet with your leader and present Lord Quintus's demands. Before we depart, however, there is something I would ask of you. Assuming your contingent complies, the supplies they surrender will need to be transported here. That task falls to Legionaries, Legionaries, uh, Mar Marcellinus and Octavia, who will pilot Magitech armor to your headquarters. You are to inform them of that we are leaving shortly. Tell them to ask the Il, Il, for f further details in those words. Once you've seen to that, meet me by the exit. <sighs> oh boy. I saw the picture. Uh, Alpha No and Ali say in the trailer. This is gonna be an important scene, I bet. Just need to need a second here. How's Niz doing? Niz, I'm. I, f I feel like I'm coming up on that scene. You think? The trailer scene. Oh. I mean, it's in the quest what title. What would give you that idea? <laughs> what would give me that idea? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Do I not have these swallow leather already crafted? No, I don't. Son of a bitch. All right. Well the end of that <laughs> you again ask the eel he said <laughs> sigh so that's to be the way of it after all this how ironic that you should be the one to deliver the news if those are my orders so be it for the glory of Garlemald. What does that mean? They're not gonna martyr themselves, are they? What do you want with me? Ask the eel. So Lord Quintus has reached a decision. I knew he would understand. That he would recognize the savage as a ruthless, merciless creature, and to defeat him, we too must be uncompromising? I am ready, in the name of Emperor Varus, uh, for the glory of Gar and the Mob, I will fulfill my duty. Oh, great. That, that, does, not, that does not sound good. Hmm. How far away do it? Oh, he said just meet at the exit. So. Have you done as instructed? Uh, what did you mean by ask the eel? I'm not at liberty to divulge that. What I can say is this. You have no cause for concern if our demands are met. Does, what? You and I are in this together now. Like it or not, we have to cooperate. There's one other matter. A place I'd like to visit on the way to your camp. It's a short walk from here. Follow me. Ah. <sighs> It sounds like they're gonna do something regardless of the demands being met. Like, uh, Octavia was was like, we're, it, it didn't it didn't sound like an optional thing. Like, prepare to open fire on them or 
blow yourself up at their camp if they don't agree. Or, it sounded like they were just confirming you're going to do this. Whatever it is. Where was this one? Southwest. That's fine. Oh, is this his old house? Death machine? Julius lingers by the runes, reluctant to leave and reluctant to stay, unable to move on. This is my home. Ah, home. At least it was until that night. I was with Lord Quintus when the capital fell, and thus spared. My family, who did not own a radio, were less fortunate. Mm. When dawn came, I made my way here. My parents, my little brother and sister, they were still inside. But they weren't themselves, and they... they tried to... My hands. I had promised to take them away from the capital that very morning, to somewhere safe, to hide until the fighting stopped. Garlean flag bears a chain, the bonds between our countrymen. A red link at its center, the blood of the fallen, our loved ones who lived and died for Garlemald. Hmm. I didn't even think about it that. I, I didn't but if notice she that it looked like a fell, chain. Who would be left to remember them and their sacrifice? What enduring proof would there be that they were ever here? If we had turned to your gods, would they have saved us? Sorry, forget I spoke. We should go. Hmm. Oh. <sighs> it's no use. Believe me, I do not enjoy being here any more than you. But she wanted us to play along, so that is what we will do. Painfully so. Unbearably. I've been thinking about what Quintus said. About why no one would accept Garlean rule. Irreconcilable differences. When coexistence isn't an option, only conquest remains. Varus at Gimlet said much the same. Only by uniting the world beneath a single standard would we rid ourselves of the Asians. United as one people. 
One race cleansed of imperfections. A cold and unforgiving vision. And when we fail to live up to their standards, what place is there for us in their world? But the truly sad, truly frustrating thing is how damnably similar it all is to the lofty ideals of Father and the Forum. Non-intervention. Always non-intervention. Protect our knowledge and our people, and to hells with the rest of you. And yet, I can see how it happened. Varys and Father looked to their elders for guidance and took their virtues as their own. But for this world was of their making. In who else could they place their trust? All of us lost in a sea of chaos. Searching desperately for purpose and meaning. But it shouldn't just be an extension of another's. It has to be ours. It has to be. We all have a stake in this world. No one should be silenced. I won't deny that we lack the experience of people such as Father or Quintus. Perhaps they've come to see the world as a series of problems, and the most efficient way of solving them, to reduce everything to fundamental forms. A stone is a stone, a cloud a cloud, a flower, no more than that. Simple descriptions that strip the subject of distinguishing characteristics. A man is a man, divided according to race, creed, or allegiance, and to some, defined by such associations. Is that what you think? In my misbegotten youth, Hmm. But what I believed wisdom was no more than aggressive ignorance. That's when we, no one liked Alphanus. I've since learned to look beyond the banners and the politics. To see people as individuals with their own hopes and dreams. As for my dream of building a better world, well, every day I'm reminded that it is far more complex than I had ever imagined. But it only spurs me onward to find the wisdom and the strength to see it through to the very end. Oh, these long cutscenes get me worried for them. Constantly. <laughs> All of our supplies and an immediate withdrawal. These are your conditions. Demands, and you forgot about the airship. Once again, you will leave one behind. It will be used to return the prisoners. Their collars will be removed prior to the exchange. So in the end, not even Father's expertly worded rhetoric could deter you from your chosen course. Not that I thought for a moment that it would. I've no love for violence, of course, but ours is a cause worth fighting for. I just wish he'd realize it too. Sometimes the only way to protect the ones you love is to take a stand, to refuse to suffer in silence. I want you to know I share your conviction. Whether it be on the battlefield or in the debating chamber, I won't back down. I guess what I'm saying is... You've found your own reason to fight. Yes. Yes, I have. God's willing, there will come a day when we can finally lay down our arms and there will be peace. But not until the Telophoroi have been defeated once and for all. And you, brother, will have a vital 
part to play. By your words and deeds, you'll lead the way. Mm. I pray I am up to the task. There'll always be naysayers. Those who think us fools for even trying. It's easy for learned elites to criticize earnest efforts and assert their moral superiority, all without offering alternatives. Not that their sophistry has ever wounded you. So stubborn and strong, stronger than you even know. Don't ever change, you hear me? If you stumble, I'll be there to catch you. Or give you a thick ear. Maybe both, for good measure. Thank you, Alizé. Stinian don't wait. But the colors. This isn't gonna help us help them. The scouts have secured Alizé and Alfino. Their collars were removed without complication as well. Good. They report no casualties, not for their party nor the guards who will wake from their premature slumber in due course. It would appear the situation has changed. I propose new terms. We have information that will be of great interest to Lord Quintus, and I wish to speak with him in person. Wait, what about... Eel, eel or whatever? No. In the event you rejected our first proposal, we came prepared with a second. They don't have enough soldiers for this. It's not a big deal. Yeah, there's two two sets of them. More are coming. Make ready. What? We, the loyal soldiers of the First Legion, proud servants of Garlemald, of the fallen Emperor Varys, shall safeguard these lands from the barbarian hordes until our countrymen return. We fought so many of them. Stop, both of you. Oh. This child may be the worst emissary I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, everyone actually stopped. We received an urgent communication from the Grand Company of Eorzea. Envoys from the Imperial Army, led by members of the 10th Legion, came to Alamigo and requested an audience. They explained that their efforts to coordinate the reclamation of the capital with the aid of the 4th, 5th, 8th and 12th had ended in failure. Communication between most legions has broken down entirely. Most of the Tenth's conscripts have deserted, leaving their forces severely depleted. No one's coming to help. That is why, unable to continue the fight on their own, they and their allies turn to the Grand Company of Eorzea for aid. Lies. Every word. It is the truth, and I have not finished. The Tenth has requested that we deliver a message to Lord Quintus. Have the ill stand down. Hmm. You have been listening, my lord? What... What are your orders? <sighs> 
Inform her that we will honor the tenth decision. Okay. Bereft of hope and now dignity. I release you from your duty. All of you. Like, permanently? <laughs> I take solace, your radiance, in the knowledge you are not here to witness our debasement. It was a grand, glorious dream we shared. Of a world united. Of peace and prosperity. We are ghosts, you and I. Memories of days gone by. Bonds forged in blood that I will not see tarnished. Uh oh. I don't like where this is going. Wow, this keeps getting darker and darker. You're you're kidding me. Someone, someone gonna stop him? Oh god, it just cut. Quickly! We have to reach the station before it's too late. If there is still a chance that Quintus will agree to a truce, we must take it. I just hope we get there before he and his men do something rash. Oh god. Oh. What? Wow, they are not holding back. Seriously, like, I, I don't know if they've, they've ever really gone that far with, with, with the Final Fantasy. Much and more has occurred since we, la last we met. As for determining what comes next, we must speak with Lord Quintus. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sh sure. Before we proceed, tell me what you know of the First Legion and the disposition of their forces. They were preparing for war while the refugees in their care were left to go hungry, a reckless short-sighted plan that risks the welfare of the people they swore to, they are sworn to protect. Nevertheless, we can't, cannot compel them to accept our aid. If we were to arrive in force with the intent to do so, we would only incite panic. Per perhaps they can be persuaded to follow one of their own. Go to Julius. Go with him to the station and have him lead the refugees there. Some may be unwilling and unable to leave, but for the time being, I'll take what I can get. Alpha no Alice and the scouts sent to extricate them should already be at the station. I will also have our other comrades in the area lend their support should it need be needed. Understood. Oh god, we're gonna learn all of... <laughs> Everyone's gonna find out at the same time. Hell, for all we know, that Alice and Elfino are gonna show up, and then uh, Julius is gonna show up and think that they killed him or some... something. No, I... It was quite obvious. Ah, just what I was looking for. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Rimen... Remelnad of Ishgard. I've been put in charge of our arrangement with the Tappers Den, you see. However, the very first of the Tappers to come bearing Ceruleum has asked uh, quite a lot of us, if I do say so. They wish for our help in getting Juturna Platform G up and running. The very same platform that uh, that's at the head of the Imperial's in Primal Energy Pipeline. 
What's more, he's a Garlean. I was convinced the only engineers left in Tapristan were from conquered territories. In any case, I'm not qualified to judge the man's motives of the man. I'd feel much more at ease if someone... I had someone of your experience helping to make the call. I thank you for your willingness to assist. Let us go and speak with the tapper in question, then. He's a man by the name of Appius. Actually... Take longer when I try to read faster, because I fumble my words. There's a lot of people here. What level are you guys? I don't think I've had a scene over there yet. I suppose you must be the friend Riminald wanted to fetch. You have my thanks for getting him to agree to my proposal. Oh, do not misunderstand. I have yet to agree to any such thing. I merely wanted someone else present during our talk. Very well. Though I do believe my prefer proffered, pr proffered uh, deal would be a boon to us and the Ilsebard contingent alike. I used to work on the Jut Juturna Platform G, you see, so I know more than most about the facility and its operation. That may be so, but your relationship to the facility notwithstanding, why should a guardian such as yourself still be taking refuge in Tapper's Den? We've been led to believe that the former workers residing there uh, were from other territories. You're right on the technicality. I was a supervisor, rather than your typical staff. When the platform went down, it seemed only right that I stay with my crew. I always thought we were close, but living alongside the Tapper's Den has made me realize that I took them and their skills for granted. And that's nothing to say... Er, that's to say nothing of the blind eye I turned to their struggles. That's why I came to you. It's high time I'd be of some real use to them. And everyone else, if we're lucky. If we manage to get the platform back in working order, it'll dramatically increase our capacity to pump and refine ceruleum for everyone in the region. Sadly, we've more than a few hands short of a full workforce, not to mention a lack of supplies, which is precisely where you come in. Help us get these things up and running again, and you'll have your share of ceruleum coming out of the rig. You couldn't come up with a more mutually beneficial arrangement if you tried. What do you think? Sure. Totally trustworthy. We haven't been <laughs> screwed over here yet. Yes, I've been leaning the same way myself. Ultimately, what he says uh, about the potential benefits is true. Nevertheless, I doubt the higher-ups would ascend to this. Honestly, everyone else is very forward about their, like, hate as a Garlean. Uh, so, him not... Or, you know, he, he, I don't think they'd hide it. I think he's being straight about it. I suppose that it goes... That is how it goes when you're dealing with the military types. For what it's worth, I do understand the hesitancy to throw your lot in with someone from a hostile nation. Thus, to part two of my proposal. I shall do you a service to prove myself worthy of the contingent's trust. I had a look around the fringes of your camp here before you arrived. And I've spotted a few ceruleum engines in need of repair. I, if I fix them up... Your superiors would have no reason to suspect that I want to see you driven out. Less reason any, in any case. Assisting us with the use of local technology would go a long way, I'd imagine. That said, I've not heard anything about the ceruleum engines we scavenged breaking down. It's not as if they're entirely useless yet, but I guarantee they're not running as they should. Give me the opportunity and I can have them working more efficiently and safely. You are welcome to accompany me while I do so. That way you can ensure that I don't get up to anything suspect, and then vouch for me with your superiors. I have no objections. I trust you will sense anything amiss. This is a side quest. Let us begin with the proper inspection, then. We can get to work as soon as we are ready, Rin. It's funny, when I'm playing a game that has, like, simple side quests, I complain about them not being complex enough. <laughs> and sometimes when I'm playing games with quests that have, like, detailed, very detailed stories, I'm like, eh, maybe you should be simple so we can get this out of the way. <laughs> More like not require it to be used for fly. Like, I got, it's the only way to get flying. 
The, though the ultimate objective is to get the engines running at full capacity, the purpose of this inspection is to work out what parts we'll need. However, I would hate to fumble out something and be accused of sabotage, so I'd appreciate it if you'd... You could be the one to lay hands on the device. Never fear, I'll be right behind you telling you what to look for. If we inspect, say, three of them, that should be a decent enough idea of what repairs needs repair. Okay, he's accompanying me. Alright. I guess we'll look around. Also, how far away? It, oh, I have to legit walk all the way back. I see. Mm-hmm. Uh, they said around the camp. There's one there. There's one there. Might as well talk to you to get this info. Yeah. Okay, and probably over in this corner, behind the house, maybe. Really? Um. Where is it? I mean, this isn't exactly a big search radius. There's this one. Oh, wait for him to show up. Where did he go? Oh my god. I actually... Do I have to go back for him? Yeah. Don't get on your mount. And the third one, maybe it's in the house? That that doesn't make any sense. Oh, it is. It is. Praise be to your deft hands. I have no I, I have an idea of what our next step ought to be. Though perhaps it would be best to apprise Riminald of our progress first. Okay. Yeah, this is a quest chain that's okay see I don't, I don't mind but like I like to do these on my own uh, when I'm leveling alternate jobs because it's wasted XP so it's like I prefer not having quests be required for flight but it's, it's not a big deal now are the engines Alas, I fear that each of those we examined are guaranteed to break down sooner or later, should you continue using them in their current state. Surely you jest. I swear it on my integrity as an engineer, you are in dire need of instruction in the proper operation of ceruleum engines. You saw the little lamp light, when, uh, light up when you touched the switch, correct? That only illuminates when there's an issue with the engine. They were switched off for want of fuel when the settlement was abandoned no doubt, which prevented them from burning out, only to let them freeze solid instead ere you, your lot turned them on. From the state they're in, I can only assume it didn't occur to you to warm them up first. No. Oh. I noticed you have heating technology of your own, but it will do you no good should the engines to, to, to power them break, now will it? You have nothing to lose and everything to gain from my assistance. Hmm. I'm a machinist from Frozen Climbs myself, and what you say sounds plausible enough. Very well. On behalf of the camp, I formally ask you to repair the Cerulean engines. I suppose that means I will be taking responsibility if anything goes wrong, so you may as well use your own two hands this time. That's the spirit. I knew you'd come around. Unfortunately, we won't see that. I mean, I will eventually, but... Yeah, I remember when they used to put those at the end of the quest chain. You had to do all of them. That was that was an issue. Took a while. <laughs> Fight it. How, how how are you guys? Oh, darkness! You're caught up to me, by the way. 
Well, you haven't turned this in yet? Uh, I... Yeah, no, I have to go talk to Alice. Really? Yep. Wow, that took me forever. You remember when, like, we ended and then you played for just a tiny bit between rollouts? <laughs> is that is that all you did in story and you were this far ahead? Um, yeah, I mean, I did some last night. Some last night, huh? I guess. Yeah, I mean, not after you got off. Yeah. Not after I got off? Mm -hmm. Is how long did you stay up after I got off? Not at all. Really? Mm -hmm. I thought you were just going to be super addicted and stuck on here. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm like as soon as early access is done and we finish the story, I'm gonna not want to quit after that. Constantly. The, the right, story is uh, like a pressure point, just because there's so much that it, it does exhaust you. Uh, quite quite a lot. Yeah. You're on your way to where? To the quest. Oh, I'm getting ether current quick. You didn't get that one? I left it for you on your map. Oh, you you left my party so many times. I have no idea. Oh, this was this was last night, and I. No, yeah, like you you kept leaving the party for leaves. Oh. Remember? I didn't yeah, have I didn't any markers leave, on my map. I didn't leave a waymark. I left. Oh, the you ping didn't. Chat. Mm -mm. Oh, I thought you were pinging the tunnel when you pinged that. Oh. Because. I yeah, didn't even I look because I, I, I thought you were right just now. reminding me. Also, you never. I, I might have done the definite mute there. <laughs> I left it. I left it like. Let's see. Let's see. Is, there's, a, there's a fate down here, though. Oh, we're in different fucking instances, damn it. What? Are you already up there? No. Uh oh, someone's in trouble. You know what instance you're in? Uh, I think it's one. I don't know. I've been here for so long. I can't. I can't remember. That's an important. Can I get like a control F here? Ah oh, shit! I hope I can make it to that in time. I mean, these things are taking a while to kill. You just wait. I shall bring my righteous fists and How rain down you? upon the Snegovics. <laughs> Snegovics. Right. Yes. Uh, it's about halfway done. I'm going to need you to hurry up. I will. I've tried. I I'm, I'm trying. Like, I'm trying not to I'm grab like aggro or anything. There. Oh, God. You might not make it. Dang it. Oh, Niz. Niz, I'm trying so hard to single target. Look at this. This I'm letting I'm this guy so die because I'm trying not to get aggro. Okay, I guess I could get aggro. Start running him around. <laughs> get to no. where they can't deal damage. How far are you? Oh, God, oh God, a third person showed up. Oh, no. Bullocks. Niz, Niz, you just got to come in and hit it. Uh, oh, oh a fourth person showed up. This oh, is, this is no. not looking good There's for you, Niz. the last one. Oh. Yeah. Hated here. Yes. I tried. I tried, but at the same time, I. I think there's a lot of people here. What? Your efforts were appreciated. Oh, I thought you said <laughs> my efforts were muted. Oh. Yep. Wait, you got mount speed here? Nope. You're just a little Lollafell? Is, is that what's going yep. on? Ah. Those things are gross. They are. And kind of oh, awesome. This is a big one. I oh, there's punch the it. B rank, huh? You want me to punch it? I'll do it. No, I won't. 
Where are you going? Aether current. The one that's straight north? No, I didn't grab this one when I came over here. Oh. Oh, yeah, I gotta go. turn everything back on here. Now that we're actually finally playing together after I <laughs> spent all that time catching up. You know what? Doing the whole definite mute while I go through those those quests, though, th that that felt a little more comfortable when catching back up to you. Mm -hmm. That way I didn't have to, like, you know. I, I just went through and just kept reading. And, and you want to do this fate right here? Just oh, this one that popped up? Yeah. Might as well. I, I, we need to do six fates for the mount speed. Yeah, so. the mount speed here. Where are you? I'm punching things, you know. You know how it be. Oh, there's some more enemies over there. Oh, I see. Oh my god, I'm swinging my weapon. I'm, I'm playing the game. You are. It's interesting. The game. It is. It's been two hours. I don't think I've had a fight yet. Have I? No. No, it's I'm just been cutscenes. That's it. No, I didn't even do a fate. I couldn't. Dude, atonement lasts 30 seconds. What is this nonsense? So weird, right? Yeah, and, and it doesn't... Niz, look at my screen once. You see how I have uh, prominence queued? Yeah. Oh, oh shit. It didn't work. Wait, that, that totally worked before. It doesn't consume your atonement stacks, if that's what you're no, 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 no. When I, had, when I used my total eclipse, prominence was ready for the combo, and then I, I switched to my single target, and it stayed before. Hmm. But for some reason, it didn't stay there. I w really? That's weird. I, I swear it was like that. Maybe I'm just crazy. Hold on, I, I need to open my FC and stock Koa. How, how are my you doing, Koa? So, Wolves Den? No. <laughs> Wolves Den? I mean, it's so productive. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in the wolves? Then look at that glamour. Yeah. 115, Ness. 115. One? Uh, I might have gotten this one. Yeah, I got this one. Also, Koa, you have to open your <coughs> col collections a action and assign Aether Compass to your hotbar. It's no longer an item. Oh. It's an ability in the collections tab. And I know you love flying right away in expansions. You didn't save Tempest for five five months after release. It was funny when we were going to do a fate between well waiting for raid to start, and you were like, I can't fly here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just from yeah, cause Shadowbringers, I enjoyed the hell of the story, but it was like I didn't want to play the game in the raid. <laughs> so I just did the story and that was it. Yep. It was great. Hold on here. How many ether currents do you have, Niz? I'm missing four. I am also missing four in the overworld and four quest ones. Okay, so we're, we're still tied there. I don't even know what's up here. I think they're all up in the northwest then. Hey, wait, run away real quick. Oh, you just, oh, oh I, see, I see. Wait, you're teleporting your chocobo? Okay, now uh, you can oh, go back. Yes. I can't go back now. What were you trying to do? 
Um, you know. I see. I see. Oh, actual cutscene. Rin and Julius. Uh, Julius. We arrived just before you did, and too late. Too late for what? What's happened? It's Lord Quintus. He took his own life. After the news of the 10th, he relieved us of our duties. Then, when he was alone, he... No, no, he wouldn't. Uh-huh. Thank you for doing the others. So <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Assisted by the soldiers, I have seen uh, the to the remains. In due course, the, the cyber ninja shall the legatus be afforded a proper burial. You released us from our duty. You wanted us to be free, free to choose our own fate. Without him to guide us, where I... I have just this moment spoken with Lucia. We are ready to commence the transfer to uh, of our of the refugees here to Broken Camp Camp Broken Glass, should they be willing to accept our aid. Some would rather die, but most of us just want to live. Songs and standards be damned. We just want to live. We'll need to speak with the refugees. They'll have to decide for themselves if they wish to come with us. If anyone would prefer to stay, we can have supplies brought over for them. It'll be a hard journey for the others, but we'll see they reach the camp safely. Weight Allegan Coat of Healing. What's this? Ooh. Where'd you find this, Koa? That's the PvP. That's PvP? Yeah. Oh, no. There's no way to look for glamour. <laughs> the only reason anyone does PvP. Okay, okay, Niz. We might have to do PvP at some point. <laughs> I'll just play DPS so I'm not stressed out. <laughs> yep. I know, I find healing pretty. Oh, you get targeted, I guess. Yeah, you, you're constantly targeted. Oh, God. Oh, Niz. It's time. Tis. All we had to do was, well, uh, not spoil it for Koa, never mind. <laughs> I mean. It's honestly getting to the point to where I'm, a, I'm getting some Xenos energy, like, with myself, where it's just like, the glorious combat. <laughs> you only live for the combat now? Yeah. They have to flush this all out because they're all new areas and they want us to get all the backstory and lore before they start like streamlining the story basically. Let me that's punch what I'm things assuming. while giving me lore and that's what I want. I mean I get it and I, I agree. I, I do want I do want more fighting. Like I, we I feel like we should have just had a dungeon when we got to Garlemald. And then after that very do this naked. Story. Okay. Uh, by the Why Jesus you Christ. <laughs> Twenty minutes. <laughs> Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. What are you queuing for? Palm star switch. <sighs> Koa. 
You know, if you were leveling a tank, you'd be insta queued now. <laughs> Apparently, I haven't heard people yelling for tanks. That's because mm, tanks didn't get anything new. Oh, they didn't get a new job. Oh, what the fuck is this? I'm sure they could afford enough devs to get, make a tank as well. Like, one of each. Yeah, they, I mean, they tried that. I don't know why they do two. If they did three, it'd be a lot more balancing, which is why they don't, I'm sure. But but still, like, three, three would just even it out, and we wouldn't have all this unbalanced Q stuff. That's a problem each time. It was all right when we got a healer and a... It was fun when we got... Three, right? Yeah, well, when, when, we, three, yeah. When, we got, when we got Gunbreaker... Or no, no, no. Oh, it was a uh, Dark Knight Astrologian and uh... and Machinist. Yeah. Wait, and is is this up? Oh, this is. Oh my God. Yeah, do you see where we gotta go? What the? It need just never ends. Bad. We need balance speed so bad. Well, well, this person's gonna give it. I know. I I actually read the whole last quest, but I I have an alt, and I'm gonna focus on this with my alt, like. I'm I sorry, see. I'm skipping your stuff, ma'am. Her son is lost. Where's your tank, buddy? Beatrix. Beatrix is leveling a summoner, I think. Unless Niz goes monk, but then Rue wouldn't be able to go reaper. Nah, Niz is going Dark Knight. Uh, Niz and Beatrix, Beatrix are kind of in flux right now. They keep switching. Uh... I have to tell Dominic just because he was having the same one issue I was too, so. Same issue? Oh, yeah. yeah. We got him to install it yesterday and tried and got the same issue. So it is our internet. Which I don't know how to fix it. I tried all the fixes I can find online. It's actually, it's got to be your provider. Uh, just, just, just doesn't have like an open good ping to... Whatever. I, I don't know words. I might capture the congestion zone, so maybe. Yeah. I'll do it later. Good thing I'm tired because I do have to sleep. <laughs> Come here, you obstreperous son of a bitch. Niz, I hate that I'm doing this. This, it's It's a side quest. I'm hitting it. You're going to hit it? I'm not gonna hit it. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna hit it. All right. So I'm kind of. I'm not, I'm not gonna this read one. the dial or read it out loud, but I'm. <laughs> I was very. Tempted. There you go. Hold on. Were those? Was that the whole cutscene? That was it. Oh my God! Are you? You better not beat. Well, this is the stream now. Oh no! Oh the, no! Your destination will that? not appear on your map. Uh, Koa, there's these, ah. this new mechanic they added, and it's called Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed? You know in Assassin's Creed how you have to redo an entire mission if you're spotted while chasing your target? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But they can't see you, so you gotta blend in with the crowd. Wait. Uh, es essentially... Okay, he, oh, 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 he's booking it, and his, can't look at you because <laughs> you might be a header behind me you're, you're ahead of me either way koa i failed this four times yesterday it was and niz, niz literally got two quests ahead while i did that <laughs> like i had to keep running way back to go do this again son of a bitch hang out there for a while niz he, he's not He's going. taking his time. Oh, you dick! <laughs> Get, be ready. Dude, he is so paranoid. Damn, he got me. <laughs> See? Fairy Nix is a douche. Wait, you think Lollafels would be safe under that little ledge? <laughs> I have sprint back and ready now. 
Dude, he is so paranoid. This is like my least favorite mechanic in a game. I swear. Oh, okay. All right, Niz. Take your time. Yep. You're in a fight? Yep. <gasps> no! <laughs> oh my god, he knew! Okay, this guy's be- you gotta watch him closely. He's being tricky now. Like, the last one was- was very... simple. N <laughs> if he turns around and runs back here, I swear to god. <sighs> they like- they knew- they knew where I'd hide, and they're like, let's run him around the corner. I don't even know where else to hide after this. Koa. I've had two of these at level 82. We've had, we've had two. Oh wait, we're on the 83 missions now. Oh my god, it's coming, Niz. Dungeon, it's gonna, it's gonna show up. <laughs> Eventually. Eventually. Alright, I kinda wanna, I wish I could watch yours. Oh, you don't wanna watch mine. What? It's all for naught. No, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch yours. I'm gonna pretend I'm the boy. <laughs> You're restarting again? Yep. I oh. got too close to him. Here, see. Right. Wow. Wow. Is he right here? Can I be like, ha? Huh! Hell, I should be going at it so that you... No, 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 it's fine. Am I ahead of him, Niz? Mm-hmm. Oh shit, I gotta fight this. Do you like how you have to sit behind that ledge for literally ever? It's a, it's a good time. Must have been the wind, darkness. Must have been the wind. Always, oh, still, still not moving. I'm probably way ahead of him. All right, Niz, you gotta be very careful right here. Very careful. Let me just say. <clears throat> Did he get you? No. Do you see how fast he booked it and then looked where yeah. he would be hiding? Like, they knew. Because <laughs> of course he would be hiding on this side. Like, why would he run all the way over here? It's a fun mechanic. Yep, super fun. Right. Oh, I can't I can't wait till you get there. It'll be a while. Uh. Just just quit the game. <laughs> Alright, Niz. I'm gonna start this fate while you're doing that so that it's half dead. You'll be ready. Okay. Oh, maybe not. Wow, I'm doing like no damage. Dude, these fates are pretty damn tanky. It's just so dark. Do I have to turn up my brightness or something? 
It's like never daytime. Always raining and never daytime. Okay, now it's starting to drop. Did you know that Dragoon has more positionals than you? That's so damn sad, dude. My whole identity used to be positionals. Now what am I? Uh, auto attack boy. Wow. My job plays itself. That's right. I feel like they kind of favored some jobs more than others. <clears throat> Summoner's so badass. I, If I'm going to level a DPS, that's the second one I'm leveling. Or, er, first one I'm leveling. Please let me get my tornado kick. I built up. <laughs> I'm going to fight something. Right here. You little fucking goop. Take that. Get him. I'm gonna go turn this in. It's fu it's funny when I uh, step away from story stuff, just watching the viewer go from like four to zero. I didn't notice on Twitter lo lots of lots of people are having the Koa issue. Like it was just unheard of. They could not get on. They couldn't even get to the queue. Yeah. Although if you had your internet and you were also playing on PS5, that would make it even harder. Uh, I assumed that VPN would help, but the VPN would really increase my speed. Right. Hence, what's your chocobo doing? My chocobo is holding it down, man. <laughs> he's storming. He's he's ready to fucking <laughs> storm the capital. I guess. All right, we're probably gonna have to go back there. Oh wait, wait, Ether Compass. Let's be. Oh, 100 east. You're kidding me. Dude, why is this so so hard to see the screen all of a sudden? I stare. I still have an area in the middle of Lakeland that's not explored. What? <laughs> yeah, the castle. Like you never have to go up there. Koa, it's uh, been two years. <laughs> I mean, you you have to go up there for uh, instance. You don't. But start I don't. Up there, though. Yeah, you, you wouldn't get the outside of the ring, I suppose. Where is this? Yeah, what, what pin is that? It's like to the left of Lax and Loft. Oh, I see. It is. Is it says 14 East? What's going on here? I'm thinking we're going right here. Wait, what, what's over there? There's like a ramp thing, kinda, I'm guessing, nope. Do we have the to go up? Up here. Yeah, I think it's up. I think it's on like a collapsed highway. What? Dude, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I... Son of a bitch! I'm gonna make myself... Oh, oh, we can't. Oh, we can't go up this way. I still can't see my screen. What? What is going on here? I think I have to fix the glasses quick. Fuzzy.
Yeah, there's a player up there. I don't know how he got up there. Watch main story fixes the bridge. God damn it. Figure it out. I think it might be the other way. The other end of the bridge. You mean from the cell side? Yeah. Okay, I can kind of see my screen now. What the hell? Twenty three fourteen. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh my these little spots they're so awkward. Like little blocks everywhere and now I'm paralyzed. Uh oh. Twenty seconds, Niz. Twenty second paralyze. Hang on. I got you, homie. Can you reach me from up there? Yeah, come back. Oh, I got you. There we go. Oh, thank you. <sighs> there's still there's still like three ether currents we don't have. They're all west. I bet MSQ takes us there. Probably. Okay, finally, this one was irritating. Also totally reasonable if you'd actually look at the way the map is mm -hmm. laid out. Yeah. Oh my god. For some reason, my right eye is like fuzzy. Damn glasses. Funny, like, I, 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 like, Darkness, I've made a mistake. Uh oh. Darkness, I've made a mistake. What'd you do? Darkness! Uh, sounds like you pulled an A rank. Oh, you're dead. Uh, I will get you. <laughs> Did you pull an A rank? No. Unless you count five overridden bits as A ranks. Oh, you're, you're a squishy DPS doing <laughs> 80 plus fates. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Look at this summoner not rezzing me. What a butt. I hope he dies. It's Bosch all him. over again. Damn it. I think he's gonna die. He's gonna die? Sorry, Niz. Uh, I'm having such issues with my damn glasses here. It's like no matter how clean I get them, uh. somehow I still smudge them putting on my face. Yeah. Alright, now I'm good. I think. Look at you. Hold. Thanks. Yes. You DPS think you can take hits. Oops. I did the wrong thing. Did I just... Oh, it's fine. Uh, they really are making it hard to live without tanks, though, I guess. Mm -hmm. Look at this guy. I wonder if the old content's been, like, adjusted for this, too.
I swear it's impossible for Paladin not to have full MP. It's, it's I can't I can't mount. All of that was one side quest. Eh. All that time, that was that was for one side quest. Yep. <laughs> yep. All, all this uh, <laughs> probably twenty minutes for for this. <laughs> Side quest slash getting sidetracked by the fate, and also you, you failed it a little bit. Let me tell yep, I missed yep, that first yep. line. Hey. You didn't even try to read that one. Nope, I did not. Hate that kid. You you're, you're mad at that kid for making you uh, play hide and seek. Yes. Hide and don't seek. Yes. Yeah, I understand. I need three more fates here. Three more fates and then fifty-seven more fates. <laughs> I mean, three more for the mount speed, the important part. Yeah. Um, I need two more. I think I've, I've hit three, three AOEs and I get gold. All right. That's all you have to do. Wait, are you on Sage? Yeah. Nice. I'm at a party, though. Are but you I guess Basha? I use. No. Uh, oh. That should, should be where there I... for healing. Oh, or... dumb. It's, it's like a, before it was like a t 10, 15 fates was, was a level. Yeah. So. Maybe I should go to there because I just spent 20 minutes in queue. Well, 22 Dude. minutes now. Everyone's in there. Like, anyone who's leveling Sage and Reaper is probably in there. And you'll get your 80 moves. Oh, true. I'll get the practice. As long are you 71, though? You have to be 71. Yeah, yeah okay. 71. Yeah. Forgot so the logic exists. Yeah, yeah. I did too. When, when we started leveling, we, we just sat there waiting for dungeon queues for about two jobs worth before we remembered that it existed. Oh no. What? Oh, I'm lagging bad. Are you? Yeah. Dude, what are you, what are you hitting right now? Can you see my screen? Oh, you are trying to tornado kick, aren't you? Okay, well, apparently I have to do this again. That's cool. Wait, what? Oh, subdue him first, and then use the Conqueror's Chain. We're not supposed to murder him. Wait, subdue him first? Weaken him. I thought we were supposed to... Oh, I can't use mine. Oh, 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 my, my, I'll help you. Look at us being nice. Yep. So was it lag or was it just the subdue thing that got you? Uh, I think it was lag. Okay. I mean, it's 7 a.m. Everyone's waking up. It's going to be rough. Yep. Is. What about this one up here? Oh. You don't want to deal with them? Nope. <laughs> oh. Oh, that was a normal one? I was waiting for you to spawn the enemy. Oh. <laughs> Oh, 
I have not even checked my blood sugars this morning. I don't know. Oh, I'm good. Yay. Yay. So do we both have to subdue him? Is that why you had to do it too? You have to do it again? I think we both have to use the key item on him. Oh no, I'm sorry, Nest Tank. Oh, I see. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Koa, by the way, <laughs> tanks are squishy now. I don't know I if you that. noticed. Yeah, they, they. I used Sentinel and I was still just super dead in Hellminster. Darkness, we need to get to the moon because I need materials on the moon. Spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the moon? Who would have guessed? Mm. Mm. Oh no, Niz, I'm sensing a non voiced, non voiced scene. Is this where we... Is this where we... What's the word? Uh... Split progression here. Oh. Diverge. <laughs> Diverge. Still doesn't look like a dungeon is. Mm. Two more quests, Niz. Do you see him? Oh. We're gonna be yeah. able to fly here. Looks like this is where we're gonna be able to fly first, possibly. Yeah. Also, where the hell are her real, real quests? Right. 84, and we haven't seen a roll quest yet? It's supposed to be these delegates. I don't know which it's, one. Okay. Right. So we're just we're just on good terms with them now, huh? Well, Ish. why is this dude crafting here? What are you doing? Good question. Oh They're boy. waiting for their friend. Well, what's old boy here? We got a bunch of cutscenes. Oh no! Do we do these side quests first? I think so, but they might take us to main. St where where does the map take you, like the, the last one? Let's see. It takes us up back to that other. Um, that first one we picked up. I'm gonna just spam okay. through this one and see. This is probably gonna be like the pre-dungeon quest. Hmm. You know, they just gave this notice to us like a few, like an hour ago. <laughs> there is a XP bonus fate north of us. Oh, like near the quest? Um, it depends on if this quest takes me somewhere. I might as well do it quick. 
You know we're gonna be ninety before it. Before oh. the story. I feel like we should be doing our roulettes on different jobs. Really, do you just. Oh, you stupid son of a bitch. Oh, the second one is way up there. Alright, since these aren't cutscenes, the commissioner is, is accompanying you. Okay. Way over there, huh? Mm-hmm. It's a hike and a half. I hope you brought your snow boots. Let's see. I just gotta at least show the dialogue here while I go through here. And teleport to enemies without them seeing me. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Oh, uh, did you mount? Are you allowed to mount? You are allowed to mount, but they will stop following you after a short bit. <sighs> It'll get them to sprint. Oh, I'm just gonna walk. I I kind of been skipping through this one just because. How can hell? Ah, oh, no, don't die. <laughs> Go, are you ready to heal this dear? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go get this fate started. Oh, you're already back. Wait, what, why don't we do this? Oh, this fate. Yeah. Okay. And then the the bonus XP fate if it doesn't disappear. Did you enter the caves? Yeah. Well, that's the end of it. Yeah. All right, tell me if the fate is going fast. Oh, these guys don't do nearly as much damage as those other guys. I hope you don't mind hearing me out, and then we just walk away. Oh. Yeah. Why? What's wrong, Koa? What's happening? I want I want a visual image of this. <laughs> I can't keep them alive. Well, they're living, but just like. On the Just bridge. barely. Are you sure they're popping cooldowns properly? This could be their fault. Maybe. What, what are like, they playing? Uh, Gunbreaker. That's uh, like I have no. Like I have, I'm just spamming the the cure because I have nothing to use on them. Right. Right. <sighs> oh shoot, dude. We can get. We can get some XP. You you I'm have the tether on them, right? Oh, we got a forlorn. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pulling her into the group. So you have the tether on it, and you you have the you crazy and whatever diagnosis for for a shield. Yeah, a lot of sense just to spam that, but that's an extra action. Do it. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh my god, it's a bonus XP. It's still there, Nez. It's active. It's still there. We gotta 14%. go. I'm teleporting us. I'm teleporting us. We're going. Ah, uh, 14%. We're it's going, a boss. We're going, we're going. Then my new heal seems like it doesn't heal much at all. Yeah, the heal potency for Sage seems low. It's it's mostly a, I guess, higher damage class. It's got way more moves. Plus, you're not a pure he healer, Koa. Yeah. You're a you're a shield healer. I think Scholar still technically beats you in pure. Scholar, uh, yeah, Scholar healing. is still the god tier mitigation healer, or at least it's supposed to be. But but you get to heal while you deal damage. 
Yeah. Which is what I love. I fucking love that in uh, WoW, the Monk Healer. Mm. Punch thing. Yeah, I heard about that. I mean, I've never, I've never done it myself. Uh, What's this, time. miss? What's this actual mechanic? Oh, it's moving very slowly. <laughs> and it stopped right there? What? Oh, it just took a break. Is I'm not even... Oh, now I'm tanking. <coughs> okay, I thought this was going to be like a little little more challenging, but Okay. <laughs> yeah. That seems to be the extent of its uh, abilities. Oh, you oh. Want, you want it to be too hard. Oh. Now now it's kind of doing some some bit big turns. I even use that oh, and that lowers the damage taken by 10%. It's still struggling. I get it. I get it. I did accidentally use my the shield thing on myself. Oh. <laughs> That's probably my fault. <laughs> Big time. That might affect it. I don't know, because I, I looked up Sage to try to get an idea of it, because... I won't be leveling it for a while, and I'd like to know how it works so that I can work with it. But I honestly couldn't make heads or tails of the abilities in the short time that I looked at it. Yeah, it's just what? a lot of the same thing that some cost charges, some don't. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you going, Niz? Um, I, I guess down here. You doing this fate? Well, that other one just spun in. What the fuck? Um, I've committed. <laughs> now no, we're just on the fate grind? Well, I only need one more to get the mount speed up. Oh, shit. I think I got mine. Yeah. Where's the gem tr trader? She's at a uh, broken glass. Not showing up on the map. Ooh, is this, is that the B rank or is that the boss? That's a fate boss. Oops. Oh, I forgot to turn you on. Man, I thought that was going to be a, like a super oh. fate boss. <laughs> there we go. Oh, you can't provoke. Right. Koa, I don't know if you know this, but uh, tanks also have trouble with aggro now. Yeah, I did notice that in a lower level dungeon, I kept taking the additional logs. Yeah, yeah, even with tank stance on, it's it's rough. So don't get too angry at the tanks, as long as they are trying. Because <laughs> for some reason, I, I, I could not hold aggro. Or not, not not hold aggro, I can hold aggro. I just, it took a lot longer to build up than it should have, compared to Shadowbringers. Especially if you do, like, you know, shield lob and then do one AoE to, to establish aggro on your way to running forward. Sometimes uh, you'll lose it. I guess Somehow. Some people are getting what they want. More healing, more tanking. Or more aggro control, I guess. I think the biggest issue was that people really were upset that they couldn't steal aggro from the tanks. They wanted that back. Yeah. <laughs> I, that was I love that uh, to find out as a was, Drake game. <laughs> it was fun on Dragoon. Like you'd start out like really far back, and then you'd get to your full thrust life surge, and then dragon fire dive, and it was just over. A massive nuke, yeah. Yeah, and then you had to backflip out, or you're dead. Man, so you're punching. I'm I'm punching to my heart's content. This boss has a lot of health. I guess. It's 
weird not hearing Sheltron do the triple d -d 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 sound. Was attacking the Reaper in the chain. <laughs> Is that me? What? Oh, he's gonna get hit. Oh wow, he teleported out. Reaper has a. It's like Samurai, except you don't have to target up an enemy. You just oh, backflip. Backflip. I got, got it, Douglas. <gasps> no. Alright, you do it. You do it. There we go. So it's, it's so expensive. Everything's so expensive. It's, I have a, I have my Aetherite pass up, so you know we're saving yeah. some money. How how do you have those? Am I a uh, squadron? Oh, thank God! Not speed up. We're good here. Good. All right. Do we go do the other side quests quick, or do we? Uh, get into this long cutscene. Cutscene. Cutscene? Cutscene. Okay. Yeah, it might send us up there anyway. Alright. Sitting down for supper. The long, a lot of scenes will play. Set aside efficient time. Uh, I'm gonna... Just, just do the the thing, the normal thing. Oh, I'm dark. So I just muted Koa so, since it was unrelated <laughs> to, to Koa, so. of those who agreed to join us, yes. We left heaters and provisions for those who wish to stay behind. They won't last forever, but hopefully they'll last long enough. For now, I think everyone's earned a rest. We'll see to those in need of medical attention, so take the others with you and get yourselves some hot okay, soup. Hot soup? Mm-hmm. Dude, I'm kind of hungry. Hot soup for breakfast. Yeah. Marvelous, isn't it? All thanks to the resourceful machinists of Ishgard, I might add. On their behalf, I bid you warm yourself to your heart's content. Hold on. Your people might have scribbled a few things on a piece of parchment, but it was our Laminson and Smiths that put the bloody things together. 
well, be that as it may, we single-handedly got the interior heating up and running again, didn't we? <laughs> the hells you did! We were there every step of the way! We? You barely raised a finger to help you, ale-sodden reprobate! I did a damn sight more than you, you lily-livered bilge rat! Take that back! It's me and you trying to heal together, Ness. Make me. <laughs> I will not stoop to your level! Here. At ease, man. There's nothing funny in it. I'm from Alamigo, but was a conscript until recently. Used to eat this with the officers. Apparently, it's adapted from a step recipe. This is my first time trying it, and I have to say, it's not half bad. Mmm. It's a bit too flavorful for my liking. <laughs> Perhaps compared to what you're used to. The little things that make life worth living, don't you think? <laughs> now his hot chocolate's gonna be all salty. <laughs> this game's got wholesome scenes like every 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 two minutes. Mm -hmm. It's it's hard not to smile at him. I swear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if facial mu uh, muscles allow. <clears throat> I know this is not a dream, and yet. I felt the same way at the Dragon Song War's end. Every morning, I would step outside and need to be reminded that it wasn't my imagination. That my world had been forever changed. And just as I had grown accustomed to the idea, again, you change my world in ways I never thought possible. Were it not for you and your fellow scions, the rifts between man and dragon and myriad tribes might never have been bridged. The Grand Company of Eorzea. The Ilsebad Contingent. We owe it all to you. We've shed many tears in recent days of pain and sorrow, triumph and joy. I much prefer the latter. Oh, both as do I. I am honored to fight by your side. As an Eorzean and Garlean both, I shall do all in my power to bring my peoples together. It is a remarkable achievement. Everything that I and the Popularis had hoped for, and more. Would that it had come sooner. Indeed. Too many are not here to see it. And yet, there is a warmth in my breast, as if they still share in this moment. Yes, I know what you mean.
On a night like tonight, the wind and cold seem to pass me by. Goddamn flower. Can we get a color guide for the flower? Seriously. Right. Uh-oh. Oh god, don't 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 tell me they're going to be screwed. God, he's not shielded. What? Emperor Varus? They are being tempered. The talismans. Quickly. your presence then I would hate to disappoint him darkness yeah, hold on I'm like half a second behind you I think oh we're gonna think we're making it to the side quest yep that sneaky ass fan Daniel love that guy but he didn't want to see us until he'd gorged upon the experiment the... was a success but Do I fear our time is short I should sure? begin the preparations. Everyone is fine. I love this. Now, it is time for you to awaken. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Good morrow to you. Here, have a taste before it gets cold. This, oh, this but it. be sure to remove your helmet. Take a moment, too, to familiarize yourself with that borrowed flesh. What? Borrowed flesh? So, how does it feel? I, for one, find those first moments within a new yes. body to be most refreshing. <laughs> Are you a Lollifel? Still? No. We had a Magitech engineer by the name of Aulus to thank for this method of soul extraction and implantation. <laughs> I believe the two of you met briefly in Alamigo. His was a rather sticky end, wasn't it? Thankfully, he was thoughtful enough to leave behind his mind jack technology. I took the liberty of making some improvements and selecting you as my esteemed test subject. What is going on? This is such a pain in the arse. Come now. To us Asians, it is no different from trying on new clothes. Why not make the most of it by partaking in this fine okay. cuisine? I must say, I have gone to great lengths to reunite you with my lord. When I discovered that his friend was in this neck of the woods, I suggested inviting you over for dinner. He never deigned to respond, but I took his silence as a resounding yes. Ooh. 
it's an, oh, it's it's anima, isn't it? Oh my! Daddy is pleased his grumpy little boy has finally found his playmate. Ah, exposition is in order. <laughs> Exposition is in order. The Guardian Empire has long outlawed all forms of religion. No gods to worship, no risk of summoning. Brilliantly simple. But people being people must turn to something or someone in their hour of need. Who then? Why, his radiance, the Emperor, of course. As you have observed firsthand, Garlemald has seen better days. The legendary Solasos Galvis, dead. Provinces near and far in open rebellion. Our bold new emperor. Mm, I think I see where this is going. And that last one even sparked a civil war. What rotten luck. The people cried out for salvation. Their earnest pleas, one might even call them prayers, a supplication united for the Empire to reclaim her former glory. And so their will did manifest, channeled through the corpse of none other than Emperor Varus himself. And lo, oh. the Savior was born, the embodiment of the Galian spirit. Their anima. Oh, this is funny. Uh, I'll explain it after, since okay. you don't know FF10. Subjects, right. Compelling them to take up arms and fight. And just as the wealth and power gravitate towards the Empire's capital, so too does ether from every corner of the globe. The towers with which you and your allies have been so preoccupied were created as an extension of Anima itself. An ingenious design. Hmm. Would you not agree, my lord? Does the pursuit of prey you have bested before excite you? <laughs> of course not. Absent the challenge, the thrill, your prize is a hollow victory. Butchery. Perhaps you think that to be the extent of my promise. I have no doubt fallen in your estimation since Alamigo. Fair enough. But do not let your disdain deprive you, deprive us, of an opportunity to craft an even more majestic moment of euphoria. I have been honing my craft as I set the stage for our reunion. Wheresoever there is suffering and despair, you appear to fulfill your duty as defender of this star. The chaos and destruction that my hordes have wrought are my gifts to you alone. What a great gift. Yep, R involved. Great, great gift. We saved her. I don't know what's going on with him. Where's our body? That's what I'm wondering. At a loss for words, 
No matter. As you will learn, I have only just begun. Oh, will you not finish your meal? There is only one thing that can sate my hunger. And it would seem my friend has lost her appetite. I hoped this display of civility might prove an entertaining diversion. But clearly we are above such pretensions. While my lifeless body was in the possession of the Asya, I too claimed another's as my own. It was an enlightening experience to fight in an unfamiliar form. Flaws and failings in my technique were plain to see. Whence rises one's true strength? The flesh? The soul? Perhaps you should like to discover the answer for yourself. Hmm. Oh. Th th there we are. Together. He could just kill us right now. Mm hmm. No. <laughs> no. Are we. Dude, are you gonna have a battle with a Lollafell then? Oh, look at that smirk. He did not. He did. Who oh, did? <laughs> Whatever would happen if my lord were to greet your friends uh -oh. as you? I shudder to imagine what carnage he would wreak. Oh, this just got crazy. We'd better hurry if we want to avert the bloodbath. You can thank me later for my generosity. <sighs> uh oh. Wait, can we go in Xenos' body? <laughs> <laughs> that would be interesting. Ah, there it is. Your camp, I believe. If I were to hazard a guess, I would say that you, the other you, is making her way there as we speak. Alas, this you will have to walk from here. But or run, if you can manage it. My lord would be cross if I made it too easy. Such ingratitude. I'd not squander this fighting chance. After all, you've obstacles enough to overcome. Right on cue. Oh no. Miss. Tempered soldiers. With standing orders to kill those not sworn to anima. Under normal circumstances, you would make short work of them. But on this occasion, the odds are not so heavily stacked in your favor. Oh my god. This is awesome. Okay. Set up. <sighs> oh, we're in a party though. Is I, it I closed it, us? I closed it, you're good. It completely ruined that immersion. But I saved yours, fret not. Thank you. Uh, just hurry back. Well, you can skip cutscenes. Yeah. Dude, this is awesome, though. Oh, we're... Okay, you need to tell me when you get in what you are. Like, are, are you going to keep the same stuff you normally have, or, you know? Uh, I'm a crappy Because you're a monk. 
Oh, you're you're just a paladin then. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Crappy paladin indeed. Forced to inhabit the body of another. Niz, Niz, I'm basically dead. Not bad at all, given your <laughs> diminished capacity. Nevertheless, it would perhaps be prudent to keep to the shadows, scurrying about like a rodent. He's breathed his last. In Specs. You have the. Oh. Okay, what? Weird mechanic. Oh god, they don't. Did you get the Santa's? Uh, the medical kit, yeah. Dude, this, this is crazy. This is so weird. Yeah. Like, they added, like, one new type of mechanic per expansion, basically. I mean, like, the shooting darts and all that stuff. This one, they're just going all out. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, that's blocked off. Don't turn, don't turn. either. Oh. Oh. I just got the hands up my hands. Take the key. Yay. If it's running out of ceruleum, you might be able to find more in the wreckage. Oh, I can't go that way. What? We wreckage? have to cut west before we can go south. Uh, yes. Also, there's more mechanics to this. I can't go that way. I can't go. I I need the thing. What am I looking for? Oh god, I don't- I two, two of them? Oh no. I think I just got a game over. Uh oh. oh this, this is not good. We'll see, we'll see. Do you see the the thing yet, Niz? I don't know where to go. Are you reading dialogue? No. Oh, yeah, there's a wrecked Magitech thing. But it, maybe if you had a key and some oil or fuel, you could use it. Oh, see, I haven't found the one that you can salvage yet. I've found the fuel, but... Wait, you found the fuel? Where's that? Oh, I got a damage up. Uh, the fuel is... Like, farther back. Like, it's like on the westmost side. 
for me at least. Yeah. Uh, how do you? How did you even get west? That's my sneaky boy. There's like a huge line of them, and you can't even go that way unless you can go there from the start. Uh, maybe I'll go back to the beginning and try that then. Or did you... No, no, you actually can't. Niz, I actually, I actually don't know where I'm going. <coughs> oh god. Unless I can get it from... No, I have to get it from Reapers. Alright, well, if you find it, let me know. Okay, I found the immobilized Magitek Reaper. Yeah. I have okay. the key already. Where's the key the at? Next to the Reaper. Next Close to the Reaper. By. In this alleyway? Yeah. But, but the fuel, I, I don't know about. Unless I already have it. Yeah, no. He told me where the. Okay, I found that guy. I I I feel like I'm running in circles here. Yeah, if you follow the road west. You um, can't go west. I... Do you mean east? Oh my god, east. Yeah, jeez. Oh my god. I was facing the wrong way. <laughs> Do you, do you have a uh, don't point north always on your compass? Uh, I'm not sure. I was, I'm trying to go west the whole time. Yeah, oh, it's so right sorry. Here. Yeah, east. I thought you wanted me to get past the things that required the actual Magitek uh, gotcha. river. No, you'll find a... It's called a fuel concealing... Yeah, fuel concealing wreckage is what it's called. Yes. Ah. Oh, now I'm transporting. Oh my god. Yep. So did you have to go back for that after you found the Reaper? Yeah, I'm transporting now too. Don't. Don't don't see me. Fuck! I got spotted. I can outrun him. Dude, I have no heals. Oh, I if, I, it. if I'm spotted, I'm dead. Wow, it's more cool. It's just. Really spawn it's just my god. How dare he steal our body? Yeah, kind of a dick move. He would, though. It's probably, like, all he's been dreaming about every day. <laughs> oh, no! No, 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 no. I, I just have to make it to the Reaper. Screw this guy. Did they reset on their own? No. Did they all... No? You're kidding me. Oh, oh, you just drop it at your feet. I see. Yeah. Okay, that's good. But I'm actually dead, Niz. Oh my god, I'm so dead. 2k, 2k, one points. I don't have a heal. Oh my god. Whoever's body we're in. Oof, that's all I got to say. Oh, this is so much better. Is the dude give the fuel yet? Yeah. Uh, can you move? No. You're just a <laughs> turret. Okay. I see. Oh, I missed him. Get him.
There we go. Oh god, I'm still low health though. Yeah, don't get oh, spotted. No. There's still more enemies. Yeah. Had you avoided detection, the soldier might have been saved? Whoops. Are they faster now? What the hell? Uh-oh. Will you heal me? Maybe? There's, there's, I'm, I'm so screwed right now. Like, I actually can't help them. Or I'm dead. The, none of the enemies will aggro you. The bomb, stay away from the bomb because the yeah. bomb doesn't untelegraph move. Yeah, it certainly oh, does. Shit, I have 600 dude, the, health. Oh my god, there's like, uh, there's like unavoidable damage coming up. Is there? The all na nasty, the the big yeti, he'll do a breathe attack on you. So. Uh, on me? Yeah, it's untelegraphed. Oh, someone's healing me. Oh, thank God. Like, I could have went around and looked around more, but this is already pushing it, like. Yeah. I should have found more heals and not been spotted. Okay, so he's gonna do a breathe attack, huh? Yeah, I'm just gonna rampart. Oh, oh, it's only 400. Oh my god, thank you, thank you. I've never felt so weak, like, ever, in this game. Oh, don't bring that near the tanks. Down for the count. I can't heal myself. <laughs> ah, someone heal me. God damn. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, oh, I didn't think about that. It can't be game over, though. They wouldn't do that to you. Right? No, I failed. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Did you fail? I, that didn't sound like a yes or no. Oh, no. Oh. What the? That's not accurate. Why is my shit opening all of a sudden? Oh, because it still thinks you're in... That thing's broken. It should not have been opening all my buttons. <laughs> I'm sure they'll fix that eventually, but that was really weird. Like, <laughs> system settings kept opening and closing, kind of ruining it. Did you... You managed? Okay, yeah, I mean, you still finished it. How are you doing? Are you crawling? <laughs> I just finished crawling. <sighs> you know what? I'm gonna turn off the uh, HUD. Dude, they are certainly trying something here. Mm hmm. The storytelling is just so much better now. I thought for sure I'd failed and had to do that whole 12 minutes again. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. It is a miracle we were able to restrain the Tempered without suffering casualties. A welcome one. Arun, Senna, and the others have their hands full as it is. Thankfully, there are enough scales for everyone. 
And what of Eulus? His symptoms were particularly severe. Oh, I've been saying his name. They now. were, but others fared still worse, including some brought back from the Magna Glacius. As those in most desperate need take priority, it may be a while before he receives treatment. But rest assured that he will. In the meantime, we must find our missing friend. May the fury guide you. You don't want to find us. Of all the bloody times for a disappearing act. Right when the first wave struck, we'd be fools to think it a coincidence. But where even to begin the search? No one saw her leave in the chaos, and with no trail to follow. While I know full well she can handle herself, I worry all the same. <laughs> ah, speak of the devil. Well, time to call off the search. Is. <laughs> Case closed. If we have to watch That's her over there. One of our people get killed by us. Ah, it would appear so. Thou art struggling to perceive her presence. I am. Perhaps in the aftermath of the wave there is some residual effect interfering with my faculties. But Where have you been? We've been worried sick. Was that missing? Now, now, all's well that ends well. Are you all right? Are you all right? Hmm. Who are you? No good, they're not. <laughs> They're not going to drag this out. Sadly, that is all we have time for today. The effect has run its course, and back to your own bodies you must go. What? That was quick. But where are my manners? We have all traveled so very far, and I have yet to pay my respects. Though in my defense, I was ill-prepared to receive so many uninvited guests. As such, preliminary entertainments were in order. A handful of tempered soldiers to hamper your progress. Refugees to command your attention while I siphon the ceruleum from the shadows. Particularly effective. Charitable souls that you are. You bent over backwards to aid them, heedless of the delay, predictable to a fault, and so my plan approaches completion unhindered. Anima will soon have absorbed the requisite amount of ether, and then shall come the spectacle to end all spectacles. The eldest. And most powerful of primals will awaken, and all shall bear witness 
to the final days. Hmm. Who's in there? The gods themselves will be my meal. Your dear companion is my dessert. Upon this world I'll feast, and death shall follow in my wake. All your hate, all your rage, you will render unto me. For upon thy life's real wind too many threads of fate, power, Wheel enmeshed with woe. More terrible still is the attrition wrought upon thy companions as they are swept up in the storm of thine existence. Take heart and protect them well. They will be your strength and your salvation. Thank goodness. She's awake. Darkness, it's cold and I'm hungry. Yep. Perfectly fine, yes. It's cold in this cutscene. That's cold in my house. Oops. Everything in working order? That's a relief. Oh, and before I forget, thanks for coming to our rescue. Given recent events, I would be surprised if you weren't feeling a bit poorly. A hearty meal and a long rest would be my recommendation under normal circumstances, but these are anything but. If Van Daniel's boasts are to be believed, we must act quickly. Once you've blown away the cobwebs, we can discuss preparations for our assault on the Tower of Babel. Hell yeah, Niz. After all that, getting to do a dungeon? I feel like I just did a dungeon. Hmm. <laughs> Like that was that was intense. Mm hmm That whole that whole series of events. Are we in another cutscene? Yeah. Oh boy. You can't tell me there's still more after that. Oh, yeah. So we're going to be done with Garlemald after that. Mm-hmm. Non voicing. This anima was summoned with the corpse of Emperor Varus. Does this depravity know no bounds? It seems not. More to the point, we can surmise that Wave of Ether issued from not the Tower of Babel, not from the Tower of Babel, but from the primal lurking within it. The primal whose cry rang rather more loudly in your ears than ours. If you were taken to the tower itself, then this proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that it is the beating heart of the Telophorai's machinations. In which case, we have some highly relevant information. 
as many of you know, ever since we dispatched troops to free the Leviers, we've been in developing a plan to infiltrate the tower. According to Thancred and his scouts, the main structure is lousy with tempered and en enemy magitech. Furthermore, the road leading to it has collapsed, making it difficult to approach in numbers. Thus do we propose dividing our forces into two parties, one to distract and one to infiltrate. The diversionary force will be comprised of the Ishgardian, Gridanian, and Lominsen delegations. This will begin the construction of bridges to make the Talafari believe we are marching upon the tower. Meanwhile, the best suited of our Allegan, Alamegan, er, <laughs> Alamegan, Alden, and Eastern comrades will use a different method of ingress. Allegan. Look here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The facility marked in red is the en Enceladium. Enceladium? A vast Magitech manufactory. In ruins now, of course. But the freight tunnel connecting it to the erstwhile Imperial Palace remains intact. While the Telophorite's attention is elsewhere, our infiltration force can use it to enter the tower undetected. Be aware, however, that the underground rail network remains very much operational. The Tempered are using it to bring supplies to the tower even now. If it can carry the material, it can carry us too, providing we sneak aboard unseen. The Scions will lead the infiltration party. Once inside, you will locate and dispatch Fan Daniel and Xenos. I don't think that'll happen, but... I will... <laughs> it's time to end this once and for all. Oh, the top line was good. Aye, there will be no more casualties of the Talafari's m m maniacal ambition. How quickly can we enact this plan? And Daniel made it quite clear that haste is a priority. Of paramount concern, even. Assuming he didn't name the Tower Babel on a whim. In Amon's time, it meant Gateway of the Gods. Zande used it to refer to a Void Gate, but in this case, it almost certainly alludes to something altogether greater. The eldest and most powerful of primals. All the more reason to act now. The rest of it, the contingent is aware of the plan, and are ready to move at a moment's notice. You are to proceed north to Forum Patents. Lisa's group will meet you there. Okay. As ever, we are grateful for your foresight. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Spare no effort in your preparations. <sighs> Spare no effortness. Are you prepared? Yeah. Indeed. Because I'm going to need a... <laughs> Wait, where'd you go? Oh, you're not in my He's party. He's in north. Did you turn in the side quest? Yeah. yeah. You turned it in up there. So. Did I not hit teleport? What am I doing? I'm gonna I'm gonna get the dungeon unlocked and then I'm gonna need like five minutes if that's all right yeah that's fine it's almost been four hours already are you, are, are you hungry are you gonna grab something uh, um, I was kind of hoping my mom was gonna make some muffins <laughs> muffins <laughs> yeah I see So your your grand like sustenance, you're just you're just planning to have muffins? Yeah, yeah. It is. I'm not one to speak. I eat ramen. There's some good ass muffins, dude. What can I say? No.
Oh boy. Oh, okay. Please, hear him out. You fit com completed this quest, and you no longer need to help him out. Like <laughs> Remember when they were at the end of the chest, queen? Or er, chest quest chain? Oh God! Or were you not around for that? Wait, what? I don't know who you're talking to. I just completed. What? This has to be a glitch. What? I just turned in a leave and it gave me monk experience. A leave, a botanist leave. Like it actually says monk or yeah, pugilist? Yeah, pugilist. And my XP bar like exploded. Wait, what? Are you like 85 yeah. now? I just, I turned it in when I was on my monk, expecting to get botanist XP. Yeah, well, obviously that's a glitch. That that would have to be, but... <laughs> yeah. You... It just gave me 1.3, basically 1.4 million XP on my monk. <laughs> what? Yeah, <laughs> dude. <laughs> dude, that's... At this point, 1.4 million is literally a... A sixth of a level. Yeah. We could You're literally be world first players to ninety. Just, just exploiting just get, this. Uh, trust me, people are already at ninety. <laughs> people who yeah, don't give a shit and they're like, I wanna be on I wanna be ninety. All oh yeah, all jobs. jobs. I mean I don't I mean that that's how some people are gonna play, but I I totally disagree with that. Not not experiencing the story. Yeah. Four hundred West. Where is this nest? Where is it? Oh man, it's up there. Those things just remind me of Bajram Riders, and I get scared to approach them. <laughs> Those things one shot me. Alright, did you already unlock it? No. Okay. I went to go mess with my retainers real quick. Okay. Yeah, there's a cutscene here too, so. Rin, the way into the tunnel is clear. We made sure of it. Then we best get there before we freeze, especially you. I don't know how she's not frozen. Oh, the shoes will be on the other foot once we're in. Believe you me. A good fight should warm us right up. You too, you're wearing like nothing. Hmm, barely enough clothes to swaddle a newborn. Clearly you have spent too long around this feral dog of a Dothar. <laughs> Watch your tongue, fool, lest I feed it to the crows. We will see who is the fool when you freeze to death. Expect me not to warm, warm your ill-prepared hide. These furs are for myself and my Nama alone. Should I be blessed to meet her this day? He, he will at the end of the game, finally. As if any woman of worth would wish you or to be warmed by you, little son. Should we find such a warrior within, she will bask in my glorious flame. Maybe that's your Nama. Stop, both of you. Save your fire for the enemy. As for extra furs, I have plenty to spare. As do we. Ariane's gotta be freezing too. 
Hello, everyone. All set for battle, I see. Yes, free of unnecessary encumbrances, if rather more susceptible to the cold. Let us review our strategy, quickly, if you don't mind. Pippin's group has gone, a, gone ahead to the Enceladium. We are to meet them there. We wait until the Tempered's attention is drawn by the diversionary force, then we sneak onto the train. Next stop, the Tower of Babel. If any Tempered included are injured, we Zayla will tend to them. You Scions must press on, no matter what. We should avoid moving as a group until we're underground, so we'll need to make our own ways to the Enceladium. See you there. Okay. Cool. Is it just a normal enemy? Uh, oh, oh, A-rankness. Look at him. Fight him. Fight him? Uh, Fight him. No. You have hollow ground. Yeah, yeah, hollow ground will save me. Might as well do this. Yes. Ah, oh, damn. Not a different instance. I guess you're probably still in that first instance. It's okay. I have to do the thing. Right. Uh, soon as I unlock this in a minute. I might oh, try and make some muffins myself right how long does that take because uh, i have to play... schedule the next video right um it'd probably be about 45 minutes if i had to estimate 45 yeah i'm bad you... at muffins you just you just put them in the oven and then play and then go back right uh i mean or are I you gotta... gonna be busy for that time i gotta like Make I mean, sure you don't let them burn. Yeah. <laughs> so you're you're saying we should just take a break till nine, basically, or nine thirty. Yeah, it also depends I mean, that's... on if my mom is awake. Right. That's fine. Uh, I just 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 got a plan ahead of time here. That's all. Yeah. Right. Whatever wakes us up. Mm -hmm. <coughs> you get all your aether currents. Uh, no. Actually, let me let me double check. Travel. No, I'm missing one, which is seven forty-five self. Is it over here? Well, I hope not. I'm pretty sure it's over here. Are you missing one? Probably. I have all but one Aether Current. Ooh. Oh, scene. This is everyone. Consider the enemy well and truly distracted. Time to go. Our primary objective is, of course, the Telophoroi's leaders. But we should be but should we be present with an opportunity to vanquish Anima, we must seize it. If it is indeed the force behind the towers, destroying it will deliver our allies from the Telophoroi's reign of terror. Yeah. And I for one would not see the Garlean people manipulated any longer, be it by Primal, Asian, or anything else. 
Here, here. There's been enough about that. Of that. We came to help the people of Garlemald, and that's what we're gonna do, together. Till the very end. The train should be along any moment now. Prepare to board, everyone. God damn it. What's wrong, little son? <laughs> I can't believe this is literally only the 83 done. I know, dude. This is the I feel like I'm, I've played all this of... This is Ilmeg. Or Don Meg. Yeah, this is Don Meg. Like, we've done so much. And we're having two towers back to back as dungeons. Right? I believe it's considered or called Tower. Tower of Zot, Tower of Babel. Oh, this is going to be a good one. But, we got to split it. Got to go eat, Niz. We got to, oh, well, you're, you're still, you're still moving your way up here, I'm assuming. Yeah. <sighs> so, I'm going to, at the very least, uh, split it. Schedule the next one for roughly, what? It's up to you. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm really wanting those muffins, because there's nothing else to eat here. I understand. That That's fine. I have plenty of time. As long as we come back actually awake. <laughs> right. Yeah, uh, and food, food will definitely do that. I'm probably going to make, I don't know, macaroni or something. Who knows? Yeah. So, I'm going to say 9.30 to be safe, but maybe sooner. Who knows? Maybe.